Hello and welcome to the official playthrough of RuneScape Kingdoms, the board game. My name is Jamie. I'm going to be playing as the wizard today. The wizard, Perkador the Outsider. Hello, I am Modsani and I'm one of the old school community managers and I will be playing today as Modsani, Defender of Samage. And I'm Mod Doom, community manager for RuneScape and today I'll be living out my fantasy as an adventurer extraordinaire as the mighty Mod Doom. We're going to be playing together uh, through the campaign number two, which is Demon Slayer. Got right from the start of the campaign, although because we've effectively played through campaign one Vampire Slayer already, we've got some upgraded piece of equipment, we've got some additional skills, etc., that we would have had because we're, we're a little bit further into the game. So what we're going to do is to get ourselves started to set up the narrative for uh, the beginning of Demon Slayer is I think what we need to do first is have a look through... Let's have a look at this escalation card, please, just over here. Okay. Let me flip okay. that over for me. That's just going to set up go the on, game Dave. board for us to get going. Dark Whispers. In shadow-drenched corners, dark wizards whisper with excitement. And we want to place danger tokens on the Grand Exchange and the Farmland. Yes, We've indeed. Already oh, done. No. We have indeed. And then it says, collect vault cards 58, 59, 60, 61, and 62, and shuffle them into their respective exploration decks. Fortunately, we have done this off camera just before we got started. So we can, we'd have to do the shuffle those decks just now. Uh, what else we're going to do is we're going to find out what these danger tokens are going to do for us. Because every campaign of Roost Gate Kingdoms, these uh, danger tokens are going to do different things for us. And I think in this case, they're going to actually represent dark wizards that are roaming around the land. So if you wouldn't, have a re wouldn't mind having a read of this I'll take a look, see. danger so, card for us. Dark forces. Dark wizards roam the lands, threatening traveller and adventurer alike. We're, we are travellers or are. adventurers. We are. We are. Yeah. When an adventurer moves onto a region with one or more danger tokens, they must immediately take a skill test to remove a danger token from this region using melee, ranged, or magic. Failing means they suffer a wound and advance the escalation track up one, and the adventurer can't forage or skill this turn. There's a lot at stake here. Yep, absolutely. Doesn't okay. sound good for me. <laughs> absolutely. Okay, so we know what the danger tokens do now. The last thing we need to do is find out what the first part of our campaign quest is. So we've got the campaign board just over here. This is Demon Slayer at the top of it. These are the steps that we need to complete in order to be able to face Dalrith at the end of the quest. First quest is at the top there, if you wouldn't mind giving that read for us as well, please. Demon Slayer, speak to Aris. For those who can find her tent in Varrock Square, Aris tells the fortune of those who cross her hand with coin. An adventurer in Varrock with gathering yep. three or more can perform the following action. Discard a GP, then speak to Aris by collecting Vault Card 63. Fantastic. I think in terms of player order as well, uh, we get to choose at the start of the campaign. Yeah. It makes sense to me, seeing as you're right next door to Varrock and happily have an appropriate amount of gathering, would you mind kicking us off, please? How convenient. Why not? With your first turn. All right, we will move to Varrock. Okay. So that was, what was that card? 63, you said? Yes. Okay, so you're doing, you've moved to Varrock and you're taking a, um, a quest action. There you go. Thank you very much. All right, we have Demon Slayer. Come closer as I peer into the swirling mists of the crystal ball. <gasps> it's Delrith. Delrith is a powerful demon. He tried to destroy this city 150 years ago. He was stopped just in time by the great hero Wally using his magical sword Silverlight. Wally managed to trap the demon in the stone circle just south of this city. I believe Silverlight is currently in the care of Sir Prizin, one of the king's knights. Gain one thieving XP. Right, so what we've done here is you've gained the thieving experience uh, for completing that campaign quest. If you don't mind taking my doom, if you could take an Aris token yep. and just place it over that as we've spoken to Aris. Okay, so dope. we've actually completed the first campaign quest already, off to a flying oh, that's start. that's satisfying. Ooh. Look at that check that's getting filled out. Oh. Excellent. It's so great. <laughs> uh, and would you mind, uh, therefore, reading the second campaign quest for us? This now just gets discarded from the game because we've done it. Speak to Sir Prizen. Sir Prizen pursues a thief across the kingdoms to Berthorpe. Track him and inquire about Silverlight. An adventurer in Berthorpe with thieving four or more can perform the following action. Speak to Sir Prizen by collecting Vault Card 64. I'm close to thieving four. Ooh, I'm feeling very good at that. I'm only on thieving two, so that's yeah, not going to be me. Okay, so we got you have thieving four. Are you close to it? I'm three? close to it. I'm, I'm three. thieving three. So, so I've do... got a little bit, little bit of more to go, but a little bit of leveling up to do. I so can pickpocket. You can do it. Yeah. Yeah, I think I, I've got it. I've yeah. got it. So just to finish off uh, Martani's turn. So because you ended your turn in a capital region, you have to move up the escalation track by plus one. Ooh, that's scary. the last thing that we do. And then you took a obviously you took a quest action, so that's going to be the end of your turn yes. basically. Uh, so then we're going to move on to Mod Doom next. I'm very tempted to make my way. I should really head towards Berthel, but what kind of scaper would I be if I didn't immediately get distracted with the idea of skilling? I Absolutely. know I need to level up my thieving. Yes. So I'm thinking I'm going to head the absolute opposite way. Oh, okay. And I'm going yeah, to go sure. to Lumbridge because I know that I can see that there's an option for me to skill there. There is. So I'm going to head on to Lumbridge and I'm going to spend two GP to get an experience point in thieving. So, yeah, nice. so you're going to be, just for the camp, just for the people watching at home, we've got, obviously you're going to be uh, exploring in Lumbridge, which means you get to spend gold pieces to gain experience points and skills. And you also get to forage at the end of it, which means you'll pick up some wood as well. Excellent. Well, I mean, I'm already here. It'd be XP waste not to get some... Exactly. Get some wood, you got your axe, so, you know? Yeah, 
yeah, it's just it. it's on my it's on my tool belt. I, I'm just going to help myself. So no one's going to miss it. It's a yoink. It will grow back in five seconds anyway. So exactly. <laughs> no one ever bats an eyelid about that, so I don't see the problem. So mm. I'm just going to I'm just going to take it. Absolutely. And then the escalation track can go up for us again by one more place once <gasps> I you finish your turn. The capital. Yeah. I actually don't think I can be as helpful as you when it comes to this quest, even though I am in Therthorpe. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to don't put yourself down like that, Jamie. Don't. <laughs> it's true. I, I, well, I just feel like oh, we perked all the outsider feels like an outsider <laughs> right now. So what I'm going to do is continue to be on the outside and play a, a side quest. So I have Ward of the Circle. Jatix asks for some help creating wards to protect the Druid Circle from a fiery group of evil cultists. So if this adventure is in Tavoli, which help handily I am, so I'm going to move to Tavoli, they can perform the following action. Ward the Druid Circle. So I have to take a magic test. Now my magic skill is five and the uh, difficulty of this test is five, which means I get to roll two dice. If my skill was lower, I'd only roll one. And if it was higher, I'd roll three. But because it's equal to, I'm going to roll two. However, I do have my elemental battle staff, which I think is going to help me. So it means I can add the equipment die to any magic tests Ooh, of nice. uh, skill level six or below. So this is less than six. So I need to roll at least an eight to pass the skill test, uh, which I do. So the first thing that happens there, oh, can I have an experience token, please? Easy. So I get, you get an experience point for taking a magic there test. There you go. And then I also get the pass effect. So Jatix is happy. He's happy with the wards. The quest is complete. So I've just, that's a super short side quest. I've got that done already. Um, so I get three more experience in magic. So my low, I just basically get a whole level up. So we're to level Whoa. six. The games. And the games. And I'll get two gold pieces if I can have you some can of those absolutely gold, pieces, gold pieces, please. Thank you very much. You should not be leaving me in charge of these gold pieces. <laughs> <laughs> they're going to go missing. And they're too tempting. Gonna, so. They're going to be like, Doom, where'd you get all that gold from? And I'm like, I don't know. And then you're going to Random events. And, Random events. Oh, it's absolutely. crazy. <laughs> you can just leave this on the road. I don't know. Who knew? Who knew? It's nothing to do with the theory you've that I've just gotten better at. Yeah, I was going to say, you've been pickpocketing. Yeah. So. Makes a lot of sense. Smart. So uh, because I took a quest action, again, I haven't explored and uh, therefore I'm not going to forage uh, and that will be the end of my turn. So back to Matsani. Oh, nice. What do we want to do now? This is this is the question. All right. Because I'm in Varrock. Yes. I will do my side quest. Ah. Which side quest is this? What is, what this is, called? is called the Knight's Sword and it says, Surviving Squire is in trouble. He has accidentally lost his master's ceremonial sword. Help him find a replacement without the knight finding out. Speak to Reldo, Varrock's librarian, to find out more about it. If this adventurer is in Varrock, they can perform the following action. Speak to Reldo by collecting Vault Card 76. Okay, 76. A Dwarven Smith, Reldo. Hmm. You could use the smithing skills of an Imkando dwarf. They were once the world's most skilled smiths. They used secret smithing knowledge passed down from generation to generation. Unfortunately, about a century ago, the once thriving race was wiped out during the barbarian invasion of that time. I believe there is one living in Asgarnia, near the cliffs on the southern peninsula. You could try taking them some red berry pie. Collect vault card 77 to continue the quest. Okay. I'm racking up these vault cards. This is great. <laughs> <laughs> the Knight's Sword Part 2. Reldo recommends you bring Fergo a red berry pie before asking him for a favour. To advance this quest, cook a red berry pie in Port Sarum. All right, so that is definitely the thing that's on my list to do next. Yes, it is. Okay. So, and then I think I can take a... A bonus action if you want to. A bonus action. Yep. So, I have, luckily, all the equipment I need to upgrade my Smith's Hammer. Yep. So I'm going to try an attempt to upgrade it. And I can also add an extra dice because the Smith's Hammer can work on the Smith's Hammer. You can. So yes, yeah, so what's happening is you've got your starting equipment at the Smith's Hammer. You, uh, during the game, can collect resources to upgrade that piece of equipment, which is what you're going to try and do now. It's usually a crafting test. Well, as you've said, because the Smith's Hammer aids in crafting, it's going to help to improve itself. <laughs> Somehow. That's, that must be <laughs> hell on your wrists. Like, trying to upgrade the hammer with itself You have to sort of like tough. side sweep it like yeah. on the anvil. You've got to catch it, it off guard. Exactly. You've got to surprise it. I assume you're throwing it at the wall, it ricochets off. And, and you just, just Okay. around the room yeah, yeah, yeah. I like, I like, uh, yeah. yeah there we go we're yeah. going with that we're going with that all right so i have free crafting which means i get free dice you do and this one so if i don't get a six in this don't, this is going to be a miserable failure sure. don't tempt it you you did it, you got we're, we're good we're good we're guys good. we're okay, good cool. okay all right so what does the pass effect tell you to do so collect vault card 45 yep discard all of the upgrade resources and return this card to the box so yeah you get rid of the appeal piece of equipment and you now have an incando oh, hammer oh an incando <gasps> hammer oh. You just learned about the Encando. Exactly. All right. This says, uh, Hammer of the Ancient Encando Dwarves, a tool of impressive precision. And I get to add a dice to crafting skill test of level six or below. That's a big upgrade. That we is like a that. very big upgrade. Like that. Very good. All right. And I think that'll yep. be me done. You will. So you get the escalation track to just go up again by one. No, Jamie, you don't need to remember that. I, I mean, <laughs> hang on. Let's, we don't need to worry about that. Okay. All right. All right. You know, we're okay we'll, for now. We'll be fine. Absolutely. It's okay. Those those dark wizards are not going to be a problem. Okay. Okay. Speaking of being to. fine, back to Mod Doom. <laughs> yes. Uh, well, Ooh. I'm oh. in. <laughs> oh, you stop it. Oh, I'm going to blow. <laughs> <laughs> 
my goodness. I'm in Lumbridge, so I think I'm going to take a look at what I can do for my side quest, Cook's Assistant. The palace cook needs help preparing meals for several important people. Evil Dave likes his spicy stew. So to advance this quest, I have to cook the spicy stew in Lumbridge. Now, unfortunately, I don't have all the resources for this, but I am in a capital, which means I can utilize <laughs> the clan bank. The clan bank, you can. Yeah, so, so in the clan bank right now, we have uh, some herbs, we have some thread, we've got some flour, and we've got some wood and some gold. Okay, I am going to grab those herbs because that is an ingredient. We okay. Also need a, a vegetable, but I don't. We don't have any of those, unfortunately. No, no we don't. No. But to, to make sure that I'm not being unfair, I'm going to take one of my fruits, and I'm going to put one of my fruits in the sure. clan bank Ooh. because I know that's going to come in handy when you're making red berry pie. It will. Absolutely. So don't let it be said that I'm not generous. I'm I'm thinking of the team. It's a team effort. Generous so, thief. Yeah. Yes. That's it. So that's going to help with me. That's helping me progress this side quest for a little bit. So I that's one step closer, and then. I'm genuinely tempted to spend the last of my GP for more skilling and thieving. I think I'm going to try and get one step close to thieving four because that is the next step for Demon Slayer for us. To... I mean, we are playing RuneScapes. What skills are all about? Exactly. No XP waste here. You know, you can always make GP back. You can't miss out on XP. So I'm going to do that. I'm going sure. to spend my GP and I'm going to pick up another token for thieving. I feel like you should get GP with that as well. You know, you're thieving. Secretly, uh, you're pocketing some. Maybe. I'm fair. I'm actually... Yeah the opposite of a thief. I'm putting money in people's pockets, <laughs> but I'm like doing it subtly. I'm like a Gilanorian YouTuber kind of guy. I'm like <laughs> super generous. I've just put 10 GP in this man's pocket and he doesn't know about it. I'm giving GP to 10 people who are just <laughs> nice to me in front of a witness. <laughs> right, that, I think that's everything. Uh, and because I'm in the capital, the escalation track goes up. Yes, indeed. And that that's me, I think, for the turn. So, so what I think I can do then. So you're still going up to... The thieving and Berthorp. But what kind of skills are we looking to get better at later on? Is magic useful? Or is... Yes. So for Captain Rovin's key, it says, One I gave to Rovin, the captain of the palace guard. So an adventurer in Varrock with a magic level of five or more okay. can perform the following actions. So we need magic, five, and then we need melee, ranged, and defense for the stolen key. Yep. And cooking level five for Triborn's key. Well, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to White Wolf Mountain level up my defense because it's needed there and it's generally quite a useful skill to have uh, leveled up, especially for boss fights later on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move to White Wolf Mountain and I'm going to explore. Wealth awaits atop a dangerous climb. So it's actually a defense test, um, which is what I want to skill, so that's great. So it uh, needs a skill level of three, which matches my skill level in defense. So I get two dice and I need to roll a five or higher, which I do. So I get an experience point in defense for taking the test. Nice. Uh, okay, and I gain nice. three gold pieces for passing the test. Don't forget about Fantastic. that clan bank. You know, some of us don't have any That's GC true. anymore. So That's I'm true. Just, I'm just saying. What you're, what you're saying is you're putting the gold into... James' pocket, that's what you're, that's what you're doing. That's, that's basically what happened just then. From a distance. And the, yeah, there's no other facts of that, so that's the end of the exploration. <laughs> I'm just that good. And that, <laughs> then what I'm going to do, do we need, um, for upgrading items or anything you're trying to create, do we need stone or wood before I spend that on levelling my defence up? I do need one piece of stone to upgrade yep. my steel longsword, but I do feel like that's pretty good for what I'm doing right now. So yep. if there's something more pressing you need that stone for, well, if I can spend one, I think I'll spend one for a point of XP because that gets me all the way up to defense level four. Mm -hmm. So I'll spend that. That sounds good. Cool. And that is my turn. Cooking of the pie is going to be quite difficult for me because I'm level one cooking. Ah. Uh, which is not great because I just care about clues. So I think I'm going to spend some time making my way down to Lumbridge because there's a little little uh, skill icon there. Oh, gathering. Yep, that's a good point. Yes. So you need an exploration card for uh, Varrock first, and then you need to read out the dig site section of the card. Dispel the magical protection of an artifact uncovered at the dig site for a reward. I need uh, at least three magic to get the good benefits, but I don't have that. Oh, dear. So this is going to be interesting. Well, you still get to take the test. It's just I, with one die. You've, you've only got to get a four. The difficulty on there is a four. So just even four. with one dice. I like those odds. Let's see it. Just Here we go. No, that you would be a one. You couldn't have done worse. That's, no. I can't That's believe you've done That's a nat one, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. Okay. So what was the fail effect? If there uh, was one. There is no there was fail one? effect. Everyone just... at the dig site just looks at you really disappointed. Like yeah. They've all been staring at this <laughs> ominous glowing artifact. You walk up and you're like, stand back, boys. Yeah. yeah. Don't worry, guys. I got this. I just sort of like, no, punch it. Oh, you, you gave it a go. So I you gave it a go. Experience points. You got yeah. some experience points some for Some pity, it. Oh, ah. some pity points. That's all right. <laughs> I'll it take was it. an experience. <laughs> it was for everyone. <laughs> everyone, <laughs> everyone saw all that. Right, so we're putting that back in the bottom. Yeah, under the bottom of the game, please. Uh, and then, if you want to, you can spend some resources to to skill your gathering. Yes, you I gathering. do. What is probably best to just a uh, egg? Egg. 
If it's not needed for the pie, I don't think it is. I, is don't, it? Th I don't think we need the egg for the pie. Sure. We can, we can get rid of that, yeah. And then we're back to Mod Doom. Let's have a look at what I can do. So I'm still thinking about Cook's Assistant here, and I know that if I want to forage, Rimmington is the place to go to get vegetables. Yes. Which is very tempting. So I'm going to head towards Rimmington by going to Draenor Village. So I'm going to move myself over to Draenor, and I'm going to explore while I'm there. Sure. So you need so a Lumbridge Expression card. Oh, lovely. Thank you very much. Draenor part of the card. And so Draenor Village, it says, gather riches from the land, which requires a gathering skill of four and a difficulty of seven. So I don't have four gathering. I'm not even close, but that's fine. I've got the heart of a champion. You do. So I only need one dice. That's all we need. I'm feeling pretty good about this. You got um, this, you got this, dude. And so either I'm going to gain two GP or a material of your choice. Both of those sound pretty good. Yep. But if I fail, I suffer a wound. And you know what? That's fine. I can live with that. I've, I've made my choice. A nine. There we go. Oh, I'm so good. It's all, it's all about that positive energy into the universe. That's it. I, I manifested that. You did. I was like, I'm going to be okay. So I've got another gathering XP out of that. And I get hmm, a material of my choice. Ooh. I do need a vegetable. The vegetables could be very good. I... I think I'm gonna I'm gonna shake down some poor drain or citizen <laughs> for their cabbage. Yes, I'm gonna say, hey, did you see how good I was at gathering? Give me vegetables, or a fate will befall you that I dare not even speak. And they're just gonna throw a cabbage at me and walk away. Excellent. Um, so that is that is that done. So I can pop that back. You can indeed. Lovely. There we go. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna continue to level my I think defense for the time being. So that's still very useful. So I'm gonna use my amulet of glory. I need to get somewhere in a hurry. This glorious amulet is the one for you. You may teleport without discarding a gold piece. Ooh. So I'm gonna use that to go to Edgeville. Nice. And then I'm going to spend one of my gold pieces just to get a defense point in, uh, an experience point, sorry, in defense. And then I'm going to, because I've explored the capital, I'm also going to forage for some metal, if I could have Very nice. metal uh, got from over there. There we go. And There's to one. end my turn, the escalation track goes up by one. Oh, I mean, I was hoping you'd forget that. No, nope, sorry. Nope, that's all right. Okay, it's getting dangerously <laughs> close to hitting the limit, and then it we're going to have to escalate up a, up a level. But just three. while you're taking your next turn, can I have the side quest deck over there? Because I haven't got a side quest right now, so oh. I want to have a look at what other side quests side quest. I can take. And that's something you can look at at any point. Yes. You? Yeah, you can take any of them that you like. Some of the side quests here need you to be in a particular place, like the one you were starting earlier. Uh, if you would have needed to go to, was it Falador to collect it in the first place, mm -hmm. but you already had it. So, yeah, but yeah, carry on, please. Do we want to bump the es escalation track up? Generally not, but it's unavoidable. But, it's unavoidable. but if it's, I mean, if it's unavoidable, yep. then, and you know, I need to train some skills anyway, we might as well just... Use the Chronicle, go back to Varrock. I'm going to level up a little bit. Okay. I think I'm going to pay two gold for some gathering experience. Very nice. And two gold for some cooking experience. Mm -hmm. So slowly I will make my way to four cooking, but at the moment that will do. And because I am in Varrock, I will get myself some fur. Very nice. I don't want to alarm you. You've hit six gathering. I have. You're hit getting six. close to that cape objective of reaching level eight I have skill that. as well. So, how did you know? How did you know that was I, my I goal? Was, I saw through it. <laughs> I, just, I could see the vision, and I was like, I know exactly what he's. He's after that cape. He's he's got capes on the brain. Samage yeah. wants what Samage wants. After all, uh, that does mean though. The escalation oh, track moves. Capes on the Brain is definitely a spoof movie, I think. Yeah. Um, love that. So <laughs> now that we've hit the top of the escalation track, that now resets down to the bottom, and okay. we take the next card of the escalation deck and so give that read, please. This one. Okie doke. Let's have a look. Emerge from the shadows. Hidden dark wizards emerge across the kingdoms, rejoicing in the imminent return of Delrith. Advance the escalation track up one for every three danger tokens on the map, rounding up. So now we've got to add more of these danger tokens yep. onto Tavali which oh. is all the way over there. Yep. We've got one for the Grand Exchange. <gasps> There's two there Ooh. now. Ooh, spooky Grand Exchange. The Black Knight's Fortress, oh, yeah. which is all the way up on the top. Yep, there we go. Then we've got one on Port Saren. <gasps> no, my beloved port. And Draenor Village. Uh, cool. Okay, that's, Great. that's a problem for me. A little bit. I just think we've actually done quite well to avoid this so far, but I think that's... That's going to become more difficult now. It also says collect vault card 85 sure. and place it on top of the Varrock exploration deck. So whatever you do, don't explore while you're in Varrock now because something's up. Dude, they're, you're they're making me something. want to do it. Oh, That's I'm, the problem. I'm so... I shouldn't have said it. I shouldn't have said it. <laughs> I've just manifested it into reality. Red, red flag to a ball. <laughs> so um, I would like to move back to Lumbridge, okay. which I know is not a great idea. But while I'm here in Draenor, I've got the danger token here. Do. So do I need to... 
pass, pass, pass me the uh, danger cards. So I just have a quick Absolutely. read of that. Absolutely. There you go. You can have a look. Done if you need to. Spooky yeah. drain all wizards. It's when you move into a region with a danger token. So you, okay. can, move, you can move out of it. I'm there. scarpering. I'm running sure. away. I've seen those dark wizards. <laughs> and I'm, yeah. I'm getting out of there. You've watched them walking over and you're like, I'm not sticking around. No. Yeah, those guys look scary. I'm good. I'm, I'm going to... I'm going to say my goodbyes. And so I'm heading back into Lumbridge because my cook's assistant quest wants me to cook the spicy stew in Lumbridge. So I've got my ingredients, I've got my herbs, so I'm, I'm happy to spend those resources. And now I need to pass a test. I need to cook the stew and get at least a six. Okay. How many dice are you on? I need just the one yep. because I'm below. You've got this. You've got this. I've, I've so got this. You manifest know it. You got it. Oh, it's I a got nine. It. There we go. I'm... Back to back nine. Fantastic. Unbelievable. This. <laughs> the level of self belief. That's it. I just is all I, you need. I saw the stew in my mind before I started. What do they look like? Really good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not good at describing it, but like really good. I can't really picture a stew that looks very good that's just got like meat, vegetables, and herbs in it. Like I can't imagine that like impossibly, that impossibly good. Uh, whatever. Evil Dave's gonna love this. So great. <laughs> the cook is delighted. Collect vault card seventy five and discard all of the resources listed above, and the quest is complete. So I get plus five Ooh, Wow! So that's one, two. And one for the test as well. Three, one, two, and then another one. So two straight levels. So two straight levels. I'm literally cooking. Unreal. <laughs> Unreal. There we go. So there I'm very go. happy with that. And you have the recipe for a spicy stew. <gasps> there it is. Wow, I can't believe I've learned that now. That's yeah, great. The that's spiciest so handy. I'm gonna keep that. I'm going to keep that there just so I have that. Like if that card's unused, it's And that's all done. So that's go. Stash over here. Super. I'm glad I did that. And I can add that to my list of completed side quests. So I'm only one quest away from getting my cape. I know what I'm going to do during this part of this turn. I had a look through the side quest deck is, is I'm going to pick up the side quest for Sites of Dark Magic. But because I have to end my... That's one of the last things that I do is a bonus action. But I know what it's going to do is moving towards various places on the map which includes Dark Black Knight's Fortress. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to head that way anyway, because I want to take out the Dark Wizard that's there. Ooh. So I'm going to move to Black Knight's Fortress, and then would you mind reading what happens on the, da in the danger Absolutely card? Absolutely no please? problem. So you have moved onto a region with one or more danger tokens, I have. and you have to immediately take the following skill test to fight the Dark Wizard. Sure. Ooh. So it's if you're using magic, I am. it's a difficulty of four. Good. And three dice for me. requires a six or above. And I have my elemental battle staff. Oh, gonna out this magic this, good. out magic this wizard. What did I need to get? Oh, I've got a 10, so hopefully it should you've be. got a six. It's yeah. six or above, so you've absolutely decimated this <laughs> four star wizard. He never saw it coming. There's just a pile of smoldering bones now. Oh. Wizard of Pass Effect. Remove the danger token from this region. Okay. There you go. And I think obviously you get XP for passing that. I do. So I can have experience the token, please. You absolutely actually, I was on the verge of getting a new level anyway. So <gasps> it's leveled up. There we go. Well, I think I know what I'm specializing in. Yeah. <laughs> You've got to know your strengths, right? Absolutely, absolutely. Cool. So that'll be the end of my turn. And then at the end of my, end the end of my turn, I'm going to accept this side quest uh, for Sites of Dark Magic. I'm, I'm tempted to go back to the dig site. Just just because that new one's been put on top, I'm, I want to see what it is. My little goblin brain wants to wants to see. So we're going to go to the dig site. Going to have a little little venture around. See if there's any more artifacts I can beat up. <laughs> they you don't beat usually artifacts. like if you do Now that. I do, yeah. That's after why I, I after got my out of the museum sure. in Varrock for doing yeah. that. I was like, that looks really cool. And I started swinging at it. And yeah. they've, got, they've had to put glass cases yeah. and stuff. That's why I they was... have all those cracks and missing pieces. They are whole ah. things until I get my hands on Oh, so you're there to weather them. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, that doesn't look old enough to be. Out, and then they let you in. Right. Yeah. The weather sure. of artifacts. Yes. Mobsani. That's actually quite cool. Monica. All right, here we go. Oh. Summoned evil terrorize the people. Banish the imps by magic, so I could either take a skill test in magic or banish the imps by steel, which means I will banish them with my melee skill. Both of them, pretty useless for me right now, honestly. A little bit. Woof. But you, you, yeah. that doesn't mean I can't manifest. That's true. Which is what we're here for, guys. That's true. We're, we're, here to, we're gonna help you out. We're here to manifest, we're here to manifest. You got this, oh, that's the second that one. <laughs> 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 it's okay though because we know where the power from the manifestation is coming from now exactly. it's being taken from you it's fine um, guys it's fine I'm taking any number that you were getting above one and they're, add, they're being added to my roles I'm just the modifier for you guys it's I didn't fine. know that so, the fevery yeah. skill extended to manifestation but now we've learned a new thing so great it's good for all of us really it is I'm yeah. just part of the team helping so from a distance so you got an experience point and was there a, was there a fail exactly uh, yes advance the escalation track by one and oh place a danger token in the closest province that doesn't already have one mm. so that'd be where you are then yes so let's bump that up and then whack one oh, over there. there I do get like you said an experience in magic though uh, because you explored uh, if you want to you can uh, skill in gathering oh of course I, of course I want to do that yep so let's move that 
and add one to here. I do want to look for a side quest. Yep. Uh, but that's my bonus action, so I can do yes. stuff before that. I'm thinking I'm not happy with the idea of there being dark wizards in Draenor Village. I love Draenor. It's my spooky home. It's where I belong. My people are there. Even that person that I fleeced for a vegetable earlier, that's fine. Don't worry about that. Uh, let's forget. Oh, don't the, the forget no, well, I'm going to show up and, and I'm going to I'm going to rewrite my history. OK, as I'm going to become a hero of the people. So I'm going to sure. actively seek a fight with this dark wizard. Excellent. Ooh. So it says to fight the dark wizard, I need a five in melee, which I've got. And I need to get a seven or above so I can roll two. I can roll three because of my steel longsword. So I've got my equipment modifier nice. as well. There you go. Thank you. What so are you looking for? A seven or above. We got this. Uh, did we get it? No, oh. I didn't. It oh, didn't no. go my way. My luck has run out, so ah. that's fine. Uh, so I'm going to pop those back there. I'm yep. going to suffer a wound, so I can pop that on my tally here. Yes. Ouch, oof, ouch, my bones. Okay. And advance the escalation track up one. Okay, well, I mean, that's this wasn't part of the deal. I didn't actually, <laughs> didn't read ahead about... <laughs> Oh, the consequences of my actions. No. <laughs> I don't I want these. sign up for this. And the adventurer can't forage or skill this turn. That's sure. very sad because I'm just going to be sitting in the corner oh, no. crying a little bit, but not a lot because I'm really brave. <laughs> um, I'm going to pop my experience point in. But sure. my ring of wealth does also have an effect, but only when I pass a test, which uh -huh. I categorically did not. I can't stress that enough. Sure. It did not go my way. So if you're saying you're going to spend your bonus action on taking a side quest, I think whilst I'm taking my turn, it's totally fine for you to look through the deck. We'll Basically, just take any that you can because some say you have to be in a particular region, but there's a lot of okay. them that say you can take them mm -hmm. anywhere. Will do. What I was going to do is I'm going to continue my side quest for the time being, which is Sights of Dark Magic. I didn't give this a read before, so let's have a look at that. So I can't, what's the, I pronounce that name? Serenity? Renity? Yeah, because okay. it's puns, isn't it? Isn't of, it? Sure, of course. Serenity is, uh, is, <laughs> is concerned about heightened dark wizard activity and seeks the aid of an adventurer with an investigative eye. To complete this quest, this adventurer must visit each of the regions listed below. So one of those is the Black Knight's Fortress. So I have, okay, I can take an RS token just to mark that I've done that. I also need to visit the farmland. I need to visit Melzar's Maze. So uh, there's actually dark wizards in both of those places. So I'll be taking those guys out along the way, I guess. But what I'm going to do in the meantime is use my Amulet of Glory again, just to teleport to Burthorpe. To start going towards the Tavoli one. I do like getting more defense. Okay, so we'll get, we'll spend two GP uh, on an experience point for defense. I'm gonna nearly get close to another level in that. Uh, I will forage for some stone, please. Oh, very nice, very nice. Thank you. And I think that will be, is any of these resources needed for anybody in the clan bank? I think not, because it's just metal and stone that I've got. I haven't got any. Yeah, pieces. I'd take it, but like it's not, it's not required. You know, I'm rolling ones anyway, so it's not gonna, it's not gonna matter. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely fine. So I'm gonna end my turn. We move the escalation track up again. Yep. Oh no. It's, oh, it's, it's getting pretty high. That after. Why? Why? Why is it left down to me again to, to progress the tracker? I can't do anything, guys. I, we need to progress the tracker after this. We need to get this point to the point where we're trying to get. Is it Mob Doom with thieving all the way up to Bertha, aren't we, at the moment? Yeah, I, I've completely dropped the ball on that. That's my fault. <laughs> I've completely got sidetracked. I'm going to be totally honest. I, it's fine. It's I was just vibing. I've taken a yeah. side quest in Port Sarum. I, got, I, I don't know what I'm doing. You so are good. Thank you for reminding me that I've got to lock in. Not a problem. Um, Do you have the thieving for? Is it thieving four that we need? Or I, need I need one more XP in thieving. Ooh. Okay. So okay. I am... Well, we'll come back. We'll come back around I'm, to you soon. I'm considering my options now. In the meantime, so you guys, you guys play. Oh, my time. Oh, what do we want to do? What do we want to do? There's Varrock. I don't think there's any skills there really. I could get my magic up, but I could do that in Lumbridge as well. Where do we want me to go? This is the thing. So what? what I, are you, I need what to are get you to gathering. Your gathering is my my key. Gathering and defense. And I need to get to Port Sarum to cook, but also I need free cooking for that. Well, for cooking ultimately, which is going to take a long time. So I will manifest more than the one eventually. Yep. So why not make Surely. my way to Port Sarum? Absolutely. Slowly. Believe it. Let's go to Lumbridge and we will pay a token or a coin to level up in cooking. We've, we're doing quite well in the clan bank as well, by the way. We've been really generous to each other, but we haven't taken much out. So there's a lot there to use. I mean, I'll, I'll, can I take two as my bonus action? Sure. Because why not? Oh, and okay. I think I get my, uh, my, my wood as well from, yep. uh, from doing that. For foraging. And then we, the escalation track goes to oh, the top. Oh no. Here we go. Oh no. It's about to get serious. So, right. re, so it resets oh, to the bottom. Yep. There we go. And then I'll flip this and read this one out. Evil across the kingdoms, growing bolder and more numerous, dark wizards reveal themselves. So we again have to advance the escalation track. Plus one for every three danger tokens on the map. So seven right now. Rounding up. So three spaces. Three spaces. Ooh, it's fine guys, it's fine. I think I know what my job is now. If I'm not helping with this campaign quest, I think I might start trying to clear out these dark wizards. Okay, so I kind of still want to go to Port Sarum because there's an opportunity for me to bag myself some pretty sweet defense XP, which is going to come in handy. So I'm going to head to Draenor Manor. Uh, I know that that's going to end in a fight. It that's is. That's okay. I can deal with that. So it yeah. wants a 
five, and I've got that, and I've got my steel longsword, so I get you the do. equipment dice, and I need at least a seven. Come on. Let's get the manifestation back going. We'll there take we an go. eight. There, there we, go. we go. Okay, we're back in. We are back in. So I get to remove a danger token from this spot. You do. Woohoo! See ya. And because I've got a ring of wealth, every time I pass a melee ranged or magic skill test, I gain one GP. So that's gonna, oh, he had one coin on him. That's, look at that. What, <laughs> what good luck, huh? So we'll take that. And that means that I get to level up in melee. Oh, you do. So I'm level six. I'm hitting like a truck now. Oh, this is a great turn. I'm, I'm feeling good about this. Fine. We're back. We're, I had a little wobble in general village, but I'm back. I'm feeling good. All that sitting and crying helps. It's, look, it wasn't out. that much sitting and crying, okay? It was like five <laughs> minutes. And then, and then I'm back in, and it's fine. I'm through it. We're all good. So I'm going to head down to Tavoli uh, on, as part of my way to Malzar's Maze. I'm also going to fight a, a Dark Wizard. What was the magic test? I it is uh, four. Yep. And you have to get a six or above. Okay, so I've got four dice for that because my battle staff on a high skill level. At least I got the ten. There's four. some ones oh, there. There we go. We've got the ten as well. Okay, so we take out that wizard. I get an experience point in magic. Nice. Uh, and then I'm done. I suppose I should fight since I'm putting these dark wizards on. Is there a range skill test? Because I know that you've got... Uh, there is, and I'm going to use something very funky. You are. My range is a measly one but because uh, I don't care about range. But because I have a harpoon, mm. and I'll read this card out. Sure. Harpoon, a uh, fishing tool with clear potential for combat. Uh, it says add a skill in dice to a gathering skill test. This adventurer may use their gathering skill when taking range skill tests. If they do, do not gain XP from the skill test. So... You have three harpoon at them. Yeah. I kind of want to just bash him with it, but it oh, doesn't sure. feel in the, the, the spirit of range, does no, it? No, no. It's got to be a throw. Yeah. Yep. You need a five or above. I will say, if this is all ones, the luck here is... is the, I'm you've, manifesting you've something. You've said it now. I've got six. There you go. Six. Got there, six. You go. there we go. We got it, guys. No ones. The spell is broken. <laughs> harpoon right. goes straight through the Dark Wizard. I don't get a uh, XP because I used the Harpoon. You did. But that's one less Dark Wizard. He's off the table. So oh, that, excellent. we'll take that. We'll yeah. absolutely take that. So I, I'm begrudgingly heading into Falador, and I know that that's going to push the escalation track up, which I don't want, mm. but kind of got to do it. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to head to Falador. Yep. I'm going to move myself over. Could I take some GP out of the clan bank? Certainly. I'll take two if there's if there's two going. Yep. Thank you. And then I can pop in. Mm, do I need to so throw if, anything if in you, the bank? If you happen to have any uh, extra uh, stone or wood, they, I could use those to upgrade my elemental battle I've got, stuff. I've got some wood here, so there you go. Brilliant. I can pop that in the clan bank. Oh, sorry. It's all right. There you go. All right. Consider that dropped off. So Fantastic. Lovely. We've done, we've and done you get some thread as well for exploring. Super. Oh. oh, I've already got some thread, so I'll just double that. Excellent. Sweet. Okay. That's, okay. And that's me. So I'm next stop, Port Sarum. Yes. We're going to do this. Brilliant. I'm going to continue my rampage through these Dark Wizards and move through to Malzal's Maze, which also happens to uh, to my side quest, if I could have another Aris token. Of course for you can. And I'm going to try and take on all these Dark Wizards. Was it a seven I needed to get, or a six? Uh, for magic, yes. it's a six. It's a six. And we've got another, oh, oh two tens. Oh. Dark Wizards Real. out of there. Oof. And an experience point in magic. Can I have an experience token, please? You absolutely can. There you go. Just taking these Dark Wizards out one at a time. Magic level's getting up as well. It's Ooh. helpful. It's helpful. Okay. Yeah. Right, that's me done. All right, I think then we're just gonna have to go through Draenor Manor and do some exploration, I think. Yep. So let's move myself over to here and take this card. Lumbridge Exploration. In the wake of Count Draenor's rampage, the defenses here lie in pieces. It will need to be repaired if you are to now withstand an imminent assault by dark wizards. So I've got to repair the defenses. Yep. Uh, I need four crafting, which I am free, so I will only be taking one dice. But you do have the Imkando hammer because it's below I a six. I do have the Imkando hammer. Oh, Doom, you're just too good. You're just too good. What do you need to get? I need to get a six. Okay. Ooh. A I nine and a nine. five? We'll take nice. that. Yep, we'll take that indeed. All right, excellent. So, uh, because it's a success, I gain two GP <gasps> and a resource of my choice. Excellent. Uh, and I place a danger token in the closest province that doesn't already have one. If you, if you passed. Yep. Wow, okay. Harsh. Yeah, These I dark mean, wizards keep coming. They, like. They've got to go somewhere else, right? You can <laughs> so the closest, Tavoli, I think, is the closest one. If you've says, got one there, you can... Yeah, it's the it's closest province. So I well, it'll it be the one that you're in, yeah. honestly. Yep. Cool. All right. And then I get uh, I get a resource of my choice. So yeah. what, do we, what do we need, guys? What do we need? Well, if you're continuing to make this... Pie, do everything you need for that. I, I do have the ones here, and I can right. pick oh, them up in Falador. If I'm going to try and upgrade this battle stuff later on, then I need some more stone. So a stone would be great, and then some wood. I think we've got enough wood, so a stone. All right, I'll, I'll, I'll grab a stone. Yeah, do it. Grab a stone. Yep. There we go. Brilliant. Mod Doom. I think you're getting pretty close to that thieving level, aren't you? Because there's there's one, you could get another XP in Berthorpe itself. Mm. 
but that would be part of an exploration. And then at the following turn, you do the so I'm quest thinking action. in the interest of time. Yes, because the escalation track is, is starting to it's get a little rising bit. quite fast. <laughs> Bananas. I'm gonna spend one GP. Yep. To teleport to Berthorpe. Absolutely. And then I'm gonna spend a GP to get that last thieving XP. Yes. Okay. And then so. you're you're primed to do the oh, quest action yeah. next turn. I'm absolutely locked in. Brilliant for that. So that then makes me level four. It does. Is there any other thing? Any other things you want to get experience in while you're there? So you could spend one GP on melee. Uh, ranged or two on magic, defense, or gathering. Oh, you know what? I do need some stone, so I'm going to forage Ooh. for some stone. I'm going to grab some stone. And then we have that upgrade. lovely, lovely ex excavation track. Oh, right. oh yeah. This thing, yeah. Is, yeah. this thing is stressing me out. <laughs> <laughs> but that's it. I'm ready. I'm ready to continue. I need, I'm ready for surprising. I think we're, we're in a good spot. Fantastic. Excellent. So let's see how this goes. Okay, so uh, I'm, I'm going to continue again. These dark wizards, we need to take them down. So I'm going to go into Remington. I'm going to fight another dark wizard. And see if I can make it four for four, which I think we can. That is nine. 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 Excellent. Brilliant. So that's uh, another Dark Wizard. There was one. Don't have to take it off already. Oh, yeah. the die. There we go. You, you, you destroyed him into yeah, Port Sarum. You destroyed it with the dice. You've gone up to magic level eight. <gasps> that's a cape oh. objective, isn't it? it? Ooh, I think you're right. Good Ooh. point. Reach eight in any skill. So we'll take that Ooh. one off. Would you mind passing me the magic cape, please? I already know which one I want. Oh, <laughs> I, I, I can't believe it. How, how was Don't want the defense cape. There you go. There is the magic cape. Thank you very much. Right okay. What does it say on it? So it says it's a magic cape. It says equipment cape. A cape worn by the most proficient in magical arts. When this adventurer takes a magic skill test, if their skill is at least double the, the test level, they may add plus five to a skill die of their choice. What? So if it's if I'm that high above the difficulty level, I could just be like, yeah, I've, I've also done that. That is insane. Almost. That is incredible. fantastic. Okay. Also, because I have achieved a cape, this means I'm actually the first person to be able to upgrade my miniature. So we've gone from <gasps> go. the. Uh, do you want to do the spinny round thing that you were talking spinny about before? Actually, thing. there you go. You can do it for me. So my wizard becomes. Look at that. Look that at one. That Amazing. It's fantastic. So that I think would be the end of my turn. Great turn. I'm happy with that. I know. Yeah. That's yeah, yeah. pretty. That's yeah. pretty good. Yeah. Guys, it's escalation time. Is it? Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> you knew it was coming. I'm moving around the board. Yep. It's inevitable. Okay. So uh, we'll, 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 do, we'll do the stuff first. We'll do, we'll do the normal things that yep. we want to... I think we shall upgrade our... Ooh. We shall upgrade my gathering by one. Yep. Well, will give me a cheeky little bit of XP. We'll get some thread out of that as well because I don't think I want to upgrade anything else. And then, of course, Oh, yeah. So we've hit yep. the top, so we're going to go all the way back down to the bottom. Yes, indeed. Last escalation card. Dark omens. Throughout the kingdoms, dark wizards spread their dark ideas and cast their dark spells. <laughs> that, doing, it's very dark. Doing dark, dark things darkly in dark spaces with their dark spells. So, advance the escalation track plus one for every three danger tokens on the map. I mean, we've been That's, doing a good job of We have, up, but there's still but seven three, out there right now. Um, there's only two spaces, right? I think. Is, is it rounding up? Uh, yes. Three spaces. Ah. Oh. So, oh. And then it says, after this card has been drawn, each time the escalation track is reset, yep. repeat the above effect and place a danger token in three provinces that don't already have one. Wow. And a token RS on this card. Okay. And so that's that's going to progressively make the boss fight harder than each time we do that. Excellent. Yes. You're so, welcome, guys. You're welcome. That's great. Thank you so much. Tommy. That's really helped. <laughs> to uh, all of us, because we all contributed to that. We, when we all put a third RS token on this card. Once we've gone through the escalation track three more times, yep. we have to immediately fight Delrith. So okay. we should probably get a wiggle on. I think I, so. I, I think, think so. so. I was gonna say as my bonus action, Yes. I would like to retrieve the flower and berries yep. from uh, there, because I'm gonna need them. You are. Thank you very much. There Absolutely. You go. Oh, you know what? I might as well put some stone. Oh, thank there. you. For you. Brilliant, appreciate that. So kind. Okay, speaking of advancing the main quest, my doom. It's showtime. So, it is. the objective is speak to Sir Prizen. Yep. Sir Prizen pursues a thief across the kingdoms to Berthorpe. Track him and inquire about the Silverlight. So, I am an adventurer in Berthorpe with four thieving or more. I can perform the following action, which is speak to Sir Prizen by collecting Vault Card 64. 64, there you go. Lovely, thank you. Oh. Keys to Silverlight. Sir Prizen says, Delrith, I thought the world was rid of him. Thanks to my great grandfather, Wally. Well, if Aris says so, I'd better help you. The problem is getting Silverlight. It's so powerful that the king made me put it in a special box that needs three different keys to open it. That way it won't fall into the wrong hands. One I gave to Rovan, the captain of the palace guard. The second I gave to the wizard Triborn. And the third I kept until a red-robed thief stole it, 
you must retrieve each of the three keys to obtain silver light. And I gain two GP and one gathering XP, which Brilliant. is very swish, because that means I get to level up. Brilliant. So once you've done that, we've also completed this step of the campaign quest hey, as well. The RSL. The RSL. We do. So now we've now this is the point at which the campaign uh, quest splits into three little bits and pieces we've got to do. So we probably want to take one of these each uh, if we can. So would you mind giving us a read of each of those and we'll see Absolutely. who's best place for them. So one I gave to Rovan, the captain of the palace guard. So an adventurer in Varok with five magic or more can speak to Rovan by collecting vault card 65. Triborn's key is in the wizard's tower. An adventurer with five cooking or more can perform the following action of speaking to Triborn by collecting vault card 67. Okay. And the mini boss token will be placed on Port Sarum, and the first adventurer to move on to that region collects Vault Card Seventy. So I think I'm going to try and make a make a move on Port Sarum. That yep. makes oh. sense for me because the test levels require defense and melee, and that's sure that's my wheelhouse. So I'm feeling good about that. Well, we, yeah. So we can go for that one, and then I, it makes sense for me to go to is it Rovin's Key in yep. Barak. So yep. I think I should do that one, and then whoever is his best place of us with the with cooking. Because I think you actually have the cooking, don't you? So you kind of want to be in two places at once. Yeah, I do. That's... Do we need all of those test levels for that? It's recommended, I think. Because okay. um, I think I know what's going to happen there, but I'm going to try not to spoil it. Um, but it's recommended for going there. So okay. I don't, as long as you've got one of them, I think you're probably all right. I, I could potentially take on Port Sarum. I'm going there anyway for my quest. And I have okay. technically six range. That's te- te- yes, true. That's I a mean, technical six range. That feels pretty good. So I would then be heading to the wizard tower with my cooking. Sure. Okay, I think we've got a plan. We've got a plan. Yeah. So that's the end of my turn, I believe. Brilliant. And because it's in birth, I'll do the thing. Yes. So we've gone up one. We have. Perfect. Okay, Ooh. so I think I want to get a move on, because I already have the magic required to speak to Rovin, so I'm just going to go and see what happens. So I can just teleport using my Amulet of Glory again. So really glad I've got that. Uh, and then go over to Varrock, and then I'm going to... What was the Vault card, sorry, to speak to Rovin? It is Vault card 65. The Palace Guard, Rovin, surprising he's a moron, uh, who only <laughs> who only has his job because his great-grandfather was a hero with a silly name. But this Delrith might be too powerful for the Palace Guard to take on, as dedicated as they are. Prove to me that you can handle yourself and I'll give you the key. See that it's you that kills the demon and not surprising. Dark wizards have been sighted south of here. Drive them out and you will have proven yourself worthier than the moron knight. So gain three gold pieces and place danger tokens Ooh. in the wizard's tower, Melzar's maze and the farmland. Aww. Oh, wasn't expecting that. But I get the three gold pieces. Wizard's Tower, Melzar's Mason, which was the third And the farmland, please. Oh, Lord, this farmland. Okay. I was going to say, it wasn't wrong about the amount of dark wizards down there. No, no, no. I, I, think, I think they're just going to start working there. They, yeah. They're like, we've got nothing <laughs> to do. To I'm help. just going to start farming the land. Yeah, we some wheat and stuff. <laughs> we pillaged, we've pillaged the village, so it's like, you know what? We're going to have to take it as our own now and progress the community. <laughs> I feel like. <laughs> at what point do the dark wizards become the community? Now. Yeah, right. yeah, 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 yeah. I like the idea. The Dark Wizards Pillage the Village. Sounds like a really cool band and album name. It really does. It really does. That's okay. a good tongue twister. Well. Straight out of Farmer. So, t- <laughs> so it told me to collect Vault Card 66 to continue the quest. Drive out the Dark Wizards. Drive out the Dark Wizards throughout the kingdoms to prove your worth. It's got a danger token symbol. Whenever this adventurer removes a danger token from the map, place it on this card. When the third danger token is placed on this card, you've acquired the first key. Well, I mean, I was doing that anyway, so nice. that's helpful. There you go. Great. So Clean I'll just keep that up. down here mm-hmm. for now to remind me what I'm doing. Uh, and that's my turn done. Nice. Well, Super. I'm going to put this on there because uh, it's ah. on the card. Yes, that is definitely a strong hint as to what lies there, since yeah. that's the mini boss token. I, I, I wonder what it could be. Right. We're going to head to Port Sarum. We are. Right. The order in this happens, This is because I've, I've got my little side quest going yep. on. I've got the mini boss. I feel like the mini boss is probably a bigger threat than me cooking a little pie. I mean, I mean, is is the is, is like, that a bonus action to do the the side, or is it just just a quest action? It's a bonus action to cook the pie. Ah, well, I mean, you can also do that as well. I like. cooked the pie before. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. the boss, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah I think very, you can hear like the the rancor of people screaming and running, and like the sound of it's combat, fine, and just, just cooking away, working the pastry yeah, exactly. for the pie crust. Hang on, I will get to you when I'm ready. Okay. <laughs> In a minute. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's do this. I, I know I only have one cooking, so this is going to be interesting. Yep. Raldo recommends you bring Fergo a red berry pie before asking him for a favor to advance his quest. Cook Cook a red berry pie in Port Sarum. So I have the ingredients, mm-hmm. which is great. The bonus action is to cook the pie. So I need to roll a four. I need to roll oh, a six or higher. This. Oh, really? Okay. You can yeah. do this. I, you I can, can do this, guys. I can you got do this. It. That is a two. It's better, better than, than the one. one. Yeah. Better, than, better than the one. It's 100% better than the one. <laughs> <laughs> so we have, I just have to discard an ingredient. You do. 
So if you've got uh, any duplicates, you don't need. Yeah, what have we got? I mean, I get I get berries from Port Saron, so you do. I feel like forage some more fruit. Yeah, we'll, sure. we'll get rid of that. We'll get rid of that. All right, it's combat time, guys. It's it. I mean, combat don't, don't spoil it. It might not be. It, it definitely is. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we have the fire cultists last stand. The mini boss is the cultist. Uh, a plume of smoke leads you to a burning ship. Fire billowing from a smashed lantern at the feet of the crazed figure dressed in a red robe. Fire is the eternal destroyer. All will perish in flame, they scream. You must act quickly to fight the fire. Bring down the cultists and stop the third key from being lost to the sea. Collect vault cards 71 and 72 and place them on the mini boss board. Okay. Then place three RS tokens, yep. which I will grab, on fight the fire card, yep. which is here. The cultists start the fight with eight HP. Yep, so another RS token. And we. So what's happening here is a mini boss fight. So this is going to take place on this little board down here. And then what happens now is this effectively your character is teleported okay. to an instance that's here. Um, any other characters of us that join you go to Port Saren, we can join you in the mini-boss fight and help you out. Hey, so, and we get some um, little, little little cheeky bonuses, I think. We do, yeah. So so now when you take your turns, as you'll take one now, um, you basically pick one of these two behavior cards for the mini-boss and you treat that as the action you're taking for the turn. So let's have a look at them. So you've got take aim, sacrifice the firefighting to take aim at the ranting cultists. Focus on the cultists, increase the difficulty. So it's, a, it's a five for uh, range test, so this is one that you okay. can do. Uh, increase the difficulty by one for each RS token on the Fight the Fire card. So this would actually make it difficulty eight. So that'd be quite difficult whilst Ooh. they're there. Interesting. Um, inflict a wound on the cultist for each success. Place a token RS on the Fight the Fire card. So each time you take on the cultist, you'll be dealing damage to them, but you'll be making the fire worse. Okay. Okay, and then on the Fight the Fire card, use any means you can to stop the fire from consuming the cultist, the key, the ship, and you. Fight the fire. Remove a token RS from this card for each success, and it's either a melee test at 3-7 or it's a defense test at 4-6. You've got pretty good defense. I have pretty I'm liking defense. those odds. Uh, but each time you fail, you suffer a wound and then place a token RS on the card as well. Ooh. So you can make it worse. Right. So what do you think you want to do for your first one? I feel like I should fight the fire. I, I would agree. That's I feel a good like idea. that's the, the, the right choice. Yeah. So uh, because I've got four defense, I get two dice, which is nice yeah. for me. Yes. That's twice as many chances to roll a two. It is. Oh. I could roll a two with two ones. It could, it could happen. I, I love the positivity. <laughs> I think it's about it. Going through here, what have we got? You actually get a one and a two. I you, this is not believe you've done this. Yeah, yeah oh, okay. <laughs> this is a what stunning. What can I say, guys? What can I say? Absolutely stunning. Okay, cool. So we have it's just not a wound. only... It's just a wound. You've not only suffered a wound, but you've made the fire worse. It's uh, fine. It's on fine. Mine. Yep. There we go. This, this is fine. It is absolutely is fine. fine. I think we better go and help you out. Um, so, yes. Mod Doom, what would you like to do? So, I would love to go to Port Sam and do my side quest, which is potion, but that counts as an action and I don't have time for that. So I'm going to spend a GP and I'm going to teleport to Port Sarum. So, so it's be Falador's the closest you can get to because it's capital. Uh, oh. but you're still closer than where you are. Yep. Yep. So I'll, I'll teleport there. Yep. And then I could grab a GP from the clan bank. Yes. As it's there. Yes. And then I can use that to get mm -hmm. another point in melee just in case. So I, I will do that. I'll, sure. I'll, Pinch. I'll flip that over, and then that, oh, you that's just fine. did that. That's yep. fine. And then I will spend those two GP, and I'll get another XP token in melee. Get myself closer to that sweet level at seven Ooh. in melee. Tantalizingly close. Hey, guess what? Escalation track goes up. That's yes. Really Whoa! Isn't that great? That's idea. not me. My job. Uh, we, can, I, is? can I forage while I'm there? Uh, you can. So you, yes, because yes, you've skilled, you'll uh, also be able to uh, take a thread. I've got two threads, so I need to get another thread. Yeah, who cares about the escalation tracker when you're I getting know, copious amounts of I threads? I can see exactly. plumes of smoke in Port Sarum, and I'm there leaning against like a tree. As you get your thread, just watching. Yeah, I'm in like, fact, I'll just like, I should probably deal with that, like, mm, but not right now. Ah, it'll be all right. Yeah. Yeah. So it'll be fine. So I think what I'll do is I'll get off the farmland, because there's a ton of them there, and then we'll fight, like, we'll fight a wizard. Okay, so it was a six that you said I needed. Okay, so we have we have at least on one of the cards. Excellent. So we'll take that danger token. It gets placed on Drive the Dark Wizard out. And that's the first one done. Nice. And I get nice. another experience point in magic. And I'm just going to stay here fighting wizards for a little while, I think. Totally okay. fair. Oh, I'm in the farmland. I've completed my side quest. Yeah. Oh, uh, it's just excellent. complete happenstance. When this quest is complete, um, collect vault card 19. It's on Melzar's maze map. Despite finding nothing, Serenity re rewards you with an old map, mentioning that it was better for an adventurer to have it than, than him. <laughs> uh, might be worth something to a trader. Add this card to the adventurer's inventory. This card may be discarded to gain a gold piece. Okay, sure. So that's yeah, uh, extra gold piece. Your GP is a reward. Oh. Fantastic, yes. And I got five magic experience. Oh, getting close to like, exceptional. These double, yeah, you're going you're to yeah. smash these. Uh, I hope so. These so, skill tests. So five, I've already got one experience point, so that would mean I basically got two magic levels. So I go up to magic 10. 
I actually don't think I've gotten that high in this campaign um, (laughs) before, so that's a personal achievement. Unparalleled levels of power here. And I don't think there's any reason to hold on to that for any longer, so I think what I might do is just discard that to gain the gold piece now. So we'll just, I'll change that to a two. And and loaded with gold. There we go, yeah. Well, here's the thing, I could be really generous here because when I next go to a capital region, I could put all this gold into the clan bank because one of the one of the uh, ways of getting a cape is have 15 coins. Oh. So that could be some helpful for someone later. That could be. It could be. Uh, so in the meantime, that's my turn done. Run to Mulzani. Speaking of unparalleled um, levels, back in the fight with the cultists. ability to roll ones. Yes. Let's go fight the fire again. Yep. Is it too late to change your mod name to have the, the I in Sani to be a one? I, I could. Or, no, I could, I could do it. You think you could, we, we could wrangle it, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you might prove me wrong. You might roll an absolute... <laughs> Two tens. I, be, I, I believe in you. But it'll still be one of some sort. So. True. That's true. We've got for tens. There is a one and there's a five. There's a five. We needed a six. Oh, if, uh, adds up to six. It does is that any consolation? Un- sadly not. Yeah. Um, that's, that's definitely it. closer than a one or a two, though. So that actually that counts as improvement. You're getting better all the time. We will have another RS yeah. token, however. Thanks, man. Uh, for the for the fight the fire card, oh, please. There we go. Yeah, and I get hit again. And you have taken another wound. Uh, I'm fine, guys. You're absolutely fine. I'm fine. Look, good news is I've run out of thread to spool, and I kind of feel bad. So. I'm going to head on in. Excellent. And I'm going to jump into the fight, which Brilliant. means that it's minus one. Whoa. So, you, so basically, ones. whenever you take a skill test, your skill counts as one higher now. So okay. that would mean your defense counts as five. Yes. Um, so you can roll three dice for ones. And, uh, <laughs> and then, uh, but that's for all of your skills, whichever ones you take whilst fighting the miniboss. So what would you like to do? Uh, I'm going to run doing? straight in and start putting out these fires because it's yep. starting to look a little bit crazy. In so the you can take floor. a melee test <laughs> and you can hit the fire with your sword. Um, <laughs> or you can take a defense test. I love the idea that I run in huh. and I have no idea what I'm doing, so I just start yeah. furiously stabbing <laughs> the fire. Absolutely. What are you doing? <laughs> yeah, you're there like cling on for dear life and I'm just slashing at flames, right? Like, perish beast. <laughs> I think I would stab some fire. Sure. Yeah. Stab I'm some fire. use my steel longsword, which gives me the equipment advantage. It does. It's difficulty three, so I think you're getting all four I, of those dice. You're getting all four of these. You need I to need get a seven on one a of those. A seven on one of them. No pressure. We got a nine. We got a nine. Oh, actually, it's for, it's for each success remove an RS token. So how many okay. successes did you get? So two. Excellent. Two, two there. So we'll take that. And nice. That counts, as a, that counts as a melee test, which I passed. So I get a GP. Uh, f- um, yes, it does. Yes, I was going to say, you wouldn't get experience points for it because you're in a, a mini boss nice. fight. But I got the GP for it. You get a pass. So that's, you know what? A little bit of money. My, my, my coin purse feels a little heavier Good with job, that Boom. slash. Good, Good job. job. <laughs> I didn't okay. think it would work. <laughs> Wait, what do you mean by that? <laughs> <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Just the <laughs> fire raging. People's going, I'm like, whoa, whoa, hang on. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> uh, meanwhile, I'm going to fight another Dark Wizard and take another one of that. Beautiful. Another one of those damage nice. tokens, please. There you go. And did you want an? Oh, that, that goes on your. It does. You I'll get another Excellent. magic XP because I already didn't have enough, apparently. He's farming dark wizards He's on the farm. Oh. It's so <laughs> messy. Oh. I can't believe it. <laughs> That's my turn done, nice and quick. Oh, Brilliant. cool. Back Time to for me to help. Quotation marks. <laughs> you got this. I believe in you. Go on, I'm going to fight the fires. I'm going to fight the fires. It's fine. Oh. No, we'd still fight the fires. We'd still fight the fires. <laughs> uh, you've got three dice, by the way. Because oh. your skill is one higher, I that mean, takes you into three dice. I mean, do so I. We, do I need come it? On. Do I, do I, I mean, it's an RS for each one, each success. You could get. Oh, oh there oh, it comes. There, there we go. go. Fell swoop. Oh, oh, on the floor. The satisfaction. A nine, nine, and a ten. A You've just taken out. Oh, the fire's out. It's gone. Excellent. It's, you're you're it's, laying on the floor, and then you do like a break dance spin, you do. and that <laughs> cyclone of your and your seals up my wound. Yeah, yeah you're, you're feeling I'm, fantastic. I'm, I'm back you cauterized it. You did, and swept the flames out of the way. And, and you've fell set us up perfectly. I hope, I hope we get an animation for this. I want to yeah, see all yeah. this in in action. I'm speaking yeah. to everyone behind the camera. Yeah. It's fine. <laughs> so you set us up perfectly for for Mod Doom. So the thing is, do you have any ranged? Skill. Do I have any range skill? I couldn't have less range skill if I tried. No, I have one XP in it. To be fair, I think I threw a stone at someone once and like narrowly missed them. And yeah, that's basically. Well, here's the thing: with with take aim, you only need to roll a four, even if you get one die. Um, So the thing is, if you attempt this, whether you succeed or fail, there is going to be a token RS added to the fight the fire. Um, But if you succeed, and you can take some, we can take the damage on the cultists. I think you should still have a go at it anyway. I'm going to give it a give it a college try. I'm going to just find a piece of like lumber or like a piece of burning wood and just sort of throw it at somebody just yeah. chuck yeah. it at one or throw your sword at them again you put out yeah, the, yeah, yeah. you put out the fires with swords so that's, that's, like, that's yeah, heavy and sharp i'm just gonna i'm just gonna punt it their way so i need a four you or do. better got a nine nice there we go. excellent okay cool so we've taken a we've put some damage on the cultist mini boss and then we have added a token rs to fight the fire even if it's successful do they, do they help go up or down uh, the, oh, it's gone the wrong way. Sorry, yes, it's going to... They've got stronger. I hit him so hard. He's reco- <laughs> I gave him my sword. Of course he's got stronger. No, I didn't Thank think about you. this. Uh, what do I do with this? 
Okay. okay. Uh, can I have all the dice? Because I'm going to try and take out another dark wizard. The final. Let's not get complacent Liberate about it. Farm, Still have to try really hard to make sure we yeah, knock it out of the yeah, park. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so that other that's danger token comes one. off. So um, that's three now, right? When the third okay. danger token is placed on this card, you have acquired the first key, so we can put a, an RS token on the Rovin's key. Okay, okay nice. sweet. Uh, oh no, don't don't take the one off the escalation track, even though that would be really cool. So, oh, actually, we spoke to Rovin as well, so we can complete that. We've done yeah. that. I've, I've I've been slacking on the the board. I'm so sorry. There we go. Look at that. We've oh, done quite well, a lot. I haven't, we haven't done that yet. I'm nearly there. We're nearly there. Look at that there. I like Just the optimism case, though. Look. I believe what, in us. What was the cooking you needed? Was it five? For five, the yeah. That's quite far for me. I'm actually only cooking three. Oh, Doom, well, Doom's got us. Doom's got us. I'm, got this. I'm, I'm all over it. So, so right. Montani. So, oh, well, I mean, I feel like we've got to take aim, right? You could. So this is still going to make it more difficult. So this would make it a We a can't six. see each other out, right? Yeah, so what's your range skill? You're still higher than this, actually, because you're range six. Brilliant. And it counts as one higher. So you still get... I don't think I get the extra dice. one, because it's gathering that one. Yes, it's not... Yeah, you haven't got an extra... You haven't got the equipment die for range test, but you get three dice at least. And you need to get to five. Okay, um, we, we got this, we got this. Uh, we got an eight. So, you did, really. I saw You've the taken... four and the three and my heart sank. <laughs> so I was like, I. you cannot be serious. <laughs> so we've taken another wound onto the mini boss and added another RS token to fight the fire. me then. I was like, no, 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 no please, wounds, please, not me. <laughs> I'm gonna keep fighting the fire because yep. I'm useless at ranged. I threw my sword. I'm kind of running out of options here. I think you found the rhythm. You fight the fire and yeah, my tiny fights the cultists. I'm just on my harpoon while you slash the fires out. Yep. And it's below, so I get the equipment. It's below a level of six, Correct. so I can use my sword. Yeah. So oh, sorry, yes. that. that's fine. And I need seven or better. Yes, yeah, sevens will take the fire down. Oh. So we got two of them at least? Three of yeah, them, three absolutely. Of them. So all the fire is down Ooh. completely again. I have mastered putting out fires. You have indeed, with your sword. I've, I've this, 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 is, this is somehow working. You're gonna have to teach us about this later, because I'm not sure how that worked, but it's working. I don't know how. But. Buckets of sand hate him. Find out how he's, <laughs> he's figured out how to beat fire with this one simple trick. Excellent. Comment, like, share, and subscribe. And uh, cool. So um, I, I've taken out Dark Wizards. Should I just continue to do, to do that? Because I haven't got the cooking skill to go and do this. So I think just taking these wizards down is going to help us with the escalation track. So if I went to either Varrock or Edgeville, I could go here and take the two out of the Grand Exchange. I feel like it would be wise to go to Edgeville. Yeah. And then you could get your defense up as well. That's you could. a and good point. you could forage. You could pick metal. up some metal because I love this longsword, but if I could get a nicer sword, ah, yes. I mean, I wouldn't say no. This sounds like a good plan. Okay, so we're going to go to Edgeville. So we're going to spend a gold piece on a defense XP, as you recommended. Uh, and then in terms of stuff in, the clan, yeah. stuff in the clan bank. Talk about not an outsider. You know? I feel <laughs> utterly inept in so many skills, and yet... Well, to be fair, the rest of them, my, my gathering and my cooking, etc. And my melee I, I, and my range. I got you covered. I'm spell magic. very special. I, I got you covered, don't worry. <laughs> I can pick up stuff all I, day. I long. have no experience in magic. I'm I'm there in the corner, like I'm like biting the runes. I'm yeah. Like, what what, what am I doing? Just like, trying just... to put the put the fires out with the runes. Just throw, ah. throwing water <laughs> runes at them, like stabbing the runes, making, making some kind of rune kebab, and then using that <laughs> to put the fire out. Is that not how magic works? Ah, yeah. Well, so, yeah, it, yeah, it is I, now. Yes, okay. It's clearly yes, working for yeah. you. So and I put some more gold into the clan bank as well, and then yeah, uh, we get a, we get a, a metal ingot as well. I need to take. Uh, there it is. There's one. I'm gonna sling that straight into the clan bank as well. Might as well just make that straight down. Pop that yeah, all the way yeah, down. Yeah. Okay, so once again, yep. this is propped. Dark omens throughout the kingdom. Dark wizards spread their dark ideas and cast their dark spells. Darkly, <laughs> etc. The time of Delrith's return is at hand. So we've advanced the escalation track plus one for every three. Nine, so nine, three, nine. and then each time the escalation track is reset, repeat the above effect, then place a danger token in three regions that don't already have one. <gasps> Whoa, oh, oh, but we've got a lot of we we are, tokens over there. For oh, so so yeah. don't do it in Black Knight's Fortress, that's quite difficult to get to, but places that we're already going to travel around. Remington probably. Yeah. yeah, Remington, Barbarian Village, and Tavoli make the most. Or, or like, I would have said probably Goblin Maybe Village, because I can go through and take those two out. I said Grand Exchange. What's wrong with the me? Grand, the Grand Exchange. Exchange. I now want every, I want like the town crier that stands up. No. Welcome to the Grand Exchange. That make, that, we're going to get that in. That's, yes, that's, that's, that's a so, note coming up. Danger yeah. tokens, we said Remington, we said Goblin Village. It was a, there was a third one, was it? Uh, yeah, anywhere that doesn't already have one. Maybe Drain or Village. So we could, but, this, but if you go in through a chain of all these places, that would yes. probably make sense without yeah. going to a capital region. Lovely stuff. And one RS on this. How many do we need? If, that? Once that hits three, okay. we're, we're right. fighting Delrith. So, but we're doing. We've got some quite good progress for the keys at the moment. Yes. Uh, speaking of which, you're going to shoot some cultists. Oh, of course, with my with my famed harpoon. Yes. The so your skill harpoon. counts as one higher. Um, oh, yes, I get three. Ha ha. And any fours are successes this time. 
And what do you get? Three of them. Three, four. Three for three. One, two, three. They're down to only three oh. health left on the cultists. Oh, it's not, it's that not still gets a. Uh, it, do, it does. Yeah, the fire goes out, which is perfect timing for Ooh. mod doom. Oh, I want to hurt them so badly, but I'm going to keep fighting the fires. I'm yep. going to do. I'm going to do my due diligence. So valiantly surely. fighting the fire for us. It's getting really hot in that armor, guys. That plate. That plate metal is getting. T I'm like. I'm basically being baked. Ah. I'm a walking like. Bakery. Oven. You yes. can see the puddles of where you have been <laughs> fighting yeah, the fires. I'm, I'm not having a good time. But you know what? I am having a good time because I'm, 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 doing, I'm doing hero shenanigans. And that's all I'm here for. Hero shenanigans. I like that. Two, two successes. Oh, so that's that's, that fire is out. And I get a GP because I passed a skill oh, check. I, need, I, need, I think I need two GP then for Absolutely. my last two. Yeah, just right. Go. So do you, we think I should go to the Grand Exchange or go through Ice Mountain and Goblin Village? It's two tokens either way. Is there anything on the way that will benefit you like going towards... I haven't towards... got a side quest, which is a good point. I'm going to head this way and then have a look through the side quests and see what good. useful things good. I can do. I mean, you can always yeah. teleport for free, yeah. which is quite handy. It does help, yeah. So uh, I'm going to collect a side quest as my bonus action and come to that at the end. But first, we're going to take on this Dark Wizard. Ooh. Another Dark Wizard and and we do. We always get just the one success there that we, we need, go. and yet another magic experience. And then we'll take, can I have the side quest? Deck, you please? absolutely can. Here you go. And then you have guys can get on with the mini boss. All right, how are we doing? We are rolling. That's what we're doing. So I need I need two, four, or more. Uh, so it's on three health. So three of them will right, take I have to get all three. All right, we, we've got this. this is it. You can do I've, it. I've, I've, this is all built up we, to this. We believe in you. Three nice. seven. Oh, there it is. Oh. Absolutely one shot. It one two three. The cultists are a gone. Boom just goes straight through. It does. Through. You had the the card for setting up the mini boss. Oh, yes. I'm trying to remember if it's this or if it's this bit. I'm no, trying to remember this one. Sure. Uh, once the cultists have been defeated, you require the third key, and each adventurer in the fight gains free XP in uh, range, melee, and defense. Wow. Oh no, all defense, sorry. Oh, it's oh, all, yeah. yeah. Ah, and just, all. Just look at this all. Yes. <laughs> you, you played with my emotions there. You did. XP in... I couldn't help it, I'm sorry guys. I'm gonna go defense, I think. I'm gonna give myself another level. I defense, feel handy. like, yeah, let's, let's go defense let's as well. That. Yeah. While we're taking stock and we're coming out of this battle, mm -hmm. I've got, in my resources, I've got a piece of cooked food. What does that do in relation to wounds? Uh, so uh, during your turn, as a bonus action, you can eat the cooked food, and it takes off. Um, it takes off one of your wounds, basically. Okay. It's not helpful for boss battles. That's why we need uh, the other one, which is uh, ration. I think it's called. Yep. Yeah. Yep. So that's the that's the one that we can use with the recipe book. That's fine. Uh, but if we're on the same square, can I just hand Sani that? You can. Okay. Oh yo. There you go. That's for you, boss. Thanks, don't even, man. Don't even worry about it. Yeah. It's fine. Trading effectively bonus action. Nice. Brilliant. Uh, so that was actually your whose turn was that? That was your turn. Yes. Your turn. Yeah, so we harpooned him. That's fine. Okay. So we fe effectively you've done that. We finished the mini boss, and then as part of your turn, you've passed yes. over there. So my main action for this is that while I am in Port Sarum, I have got my mini quest that I'm going to finish. Uh, the adventurer, if the adventurer is in Port Sarum, they can perform the following action: sample the potion. So I have got four defense, so I get two dice, and I need to get at least a seven. Okay. One of them. I've got a 10. For Easy. a moment, your skin feels tough as iron, like you could withstand any blow. A successful test. You have completed the quest. So for that, I get three experience in defense. Yep. So I Whole just level. get another level. Ooh. And I get four GP. Absolutely insane. Nice. The income is crazy. Who would have thought just walking into random strangers' houses, drinking a potion they've made, yep. and not dying is a fantastic way to make money. Be um, be in RuneScape. In RuneScape. <laughs> yeah, ca caveat that, caveat that. Yeah, so, sorry. But that's Taking part in scientific there. trials makes yes, sense. True. Yep. 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 So that's, that's that. I can take that off for me. That's done. I'm very happy with that. So you completed the side quest, didn't you, just then? Yes, so and that's, so that's four. <gasps> oh. ah. Say it ain't so. It's time. I get a cape. Now there's the range cape. Yep. The crafting cape. Ooh. The third age druidic cloak or the fire cape. Ooh. Now the druidic cloak does say sought after by the hardiest of, of adventurers, which means it's really good for defense. However, the fire cape is I mean, diabolical. The drip is sensational. <laughs> Look at how good that looks. Are you kidding me? I'm thinking I'm going to go for the fire cave. Iconic. Oh, it's fantastic that you chose that because this is also your night's upgrade of miniature. Oh, oh, look at that. Look at that. That's with, me. with the He's cake literally and all. me. He's, He's just, just like, like me for real. real. <laughs> look at that. Oh, I'm so happy. Perfect. Yeah, you, hit. There we are. Thank you so much. Oh, look at that. Excellent. It looks so good. Well done. <laughs> You did, man. It looks like so that. great. That's fine. <laughs> you with your ro oh, robe shot to pieces, like burned hair, singed. <laughs> I'm feeling good. That's fine. I'll give you a ration. You'll yeah, no, I, I appreciate it. You got this. Okay, right. So uh, what? That's, I think that's the end of your turn, isn't it? That's well. be done. So I'm going to keep going through these dark wizards. Uh, can I have the rest of the dice? You please? absolutely can. Sorry, I just threw those away. See if we can keep going. 
I was, yep, yeah, awesome. So we got, uh, yeah, taking that Dark Wizard out. I was about to say 100% record, but I was like, don't tempt fate. Wait yeah, till yeah, you roll yeah. the dice first. You know what happens, yeah. I do, and that's taking me to Magic 11. Oh, um, what? Here's the thing. If I'd failed that test, I'm now so far above it, I think I can just double, what, or add five to one of the rest. Just push them over. Yep. You don't even need to just... Yeah. You touch them and they just... They just... They I, walk, I walk in. They, they know who I am at this point. Mage hand them. Um, yeah. <laughs> the dark, dark wizards, wizards live in fear, for there is a darker <laughs> wizard. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's my turn done. Um, so what's the last key that we're still... We're doing the cooking one, aren't we? Yes, so uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go and do the needful. I'm yep. going to spend one GP and I'm going to head uh, over to the wizard tower. Yeah, it's the quickest way for me to go to Lumbridge. So, so that's, that's my plan. So, yeah, so that's, that's my plan. plan. What, what are you going to do? I think I want to. I want to finish my. I want to finish my little side quest. Yeah. Yep. I want to finish my side quest. So I need to go to Remington and back. Right. It means I'm going to have to take on the dark wizard. A dark, dark wizard. Sure. And I shall. So what do I need? You throw a harpoon at oh, them. A free in range. A free. You got this. Let's well, say that. We, we all know. Track record. There's, there's three dice there. Yeah. This I'm, time. I'm, I'm envisioning a flashback of all the roll, ones I rolled. Right yeah. Now. Uh, don't. <laughs> It's, it's fine. Excellent. It's fine. You did. We got a five. Good job. I, I felt Doom's heart. Yeah. Shudder. I'm okay. <laughs> I'm fine. We're fine. We're okay. It's okay. All right. So this is fine. So I do get rid of that uh, that one, and I get a gold. I get a gold piece, or is that? Uh, no, you just take. You just took it out. Basically, you got an experience point. Oh no, you would. Well, you would have done. Sorry, not with my harpoon. Not with your harpoon. No. Any bonus actions you can do? I'm gonna eat one of these. Oh sure. Yeah, absolutely. I'm, I'm pretty. I'm pretty wounded. I probably should have done that to start, but you know. Yeah. I play it risky. It was well. It was much cool to do this. You're basically like walking away from an explosion in slow motion, exactly. just, just chomping just on your lobster. A whole lobster, yeah. just in one crunchy. <laughs> <laughs> that is terrifying. Yeah, it's a raw lobster, by the you way. Just, You're not cooked. Yeah, just harpoon <laughs> the cultist and then just start <laughs> crunching. Breaking on the, the fourth wall, looking straight into the camera as you do it. It's, fi it's fine, guys. It's fine. It was epic. I've got my plan. So I'm going to teleport to Lumbridge mm -hmm. and begin to make my way to the Wizard Tower. So off I go. Yep. And while I'm there. I'm looking at what res what resources have we got? We've got so we've two got two stone, stone and a metal and a metal. I am good for the moment. Okay. I'm debating leveling up because I do have quite a bit of GP. Well, what I'm intending to do because it feels unfair that we've both got cloaks. I'm just going to throw all of my gold into the clan bank so that we can get Martina to 15 coins. Oh, that's that's, that's, that's a great. great you know what? That's a great keys. idea. I've got five right yep. now that I feel like I'm not going to spend any time soon. Sure. So what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to chuck. Four of mine. Yep. Keep, yeah. Keep one for teleporting around, etc. That makes sense. Just in case emergency yep. funds. But there you go. That's four more in the clan. There we go. That is me. I can forage for some wood. Yep. As while I'm here, why not? So I'm going to chuck that in, and that is my turn. I think I'm going to head into Burthorpe. Um, I'm going to have a look at the side quest deck again in a minute. Oh no, that was it. This is the one I was going to take. I remember now. I am still going to head into Burthorpe, so I'm going to do that at the end of my turn. So head into Burthorpe, and I am going to not spend any gold pieces because what I want to mainly do is interact with the clan bank. I put these five that I had into the clan bank. So we've now got 13 in there. And 13 I'm, gold in there. And I've already got four. Oh, so we don't need to do all so. of that. I'll just keep one of them <laughs> just in case. Then. Just in case. Yep. And um, I will forage for some stone as well, if I could have. So I've actually got some over yeah, here, so just, oh, flip, there we go. just flip it over. I actually have enough to try and upgrade my elemental battle stuff. Um, Ooh, that is exciting. But I'm not going to do that as my bonus action yet, because I want to take this side quest. Nice. Armor for a hero. Guildmaster, I, I can't, I don't want to try and get it wrong. It's a good, it's a good <laughs> it's question. Good. Right <laughs> <of that. laughs> Guildmaster Achaetes Perfect. Perfect. of the Heroes Guild, Guild has commissioned a worthy plate, the delivery of which will be paid for with worldly advice. You've been paid less in your time. That sounds... Promising. Sounds yeah. good. Okay. So to advance this quest, craft the armor in Tavoli, which I'm quite close to. Nice. I need a metal, uh, I need leather, and I need stone. So I can I can go and find some leather and try and do that. Uh, and then basically I will try and craft some armor. That's my turn done. So I'm going to advance the escalation track by one. And then back to Modsani's turn. All right. So if I go to Port Saren, do yep. I have to take on the cultist first? Yes. Yes. All right. Well, we'll do that then. So it's a three for ranged. Yep. Cheeky free. We've got loads in, because we're using the gathering skill for the harpoon. Oh, easy. You got it? Easy. You go. Just mowing through these dark wizards. Serves them right. It does, it does. I mean, they were trying to build a community, but after... And really look, they've been ganking noobs for, for years. Yeah. It's about time someone stood up and did something. Agreed. So I'm, I'm glad that we're doing this. Excellent. All right. So that's, that's, that's your turn, basically. That's you thought it. I was yeah. in. I'm done. Okay. I'm going to head to Draenor Village so that I can get one step closer to the wizard's tower where I need to go to talk to Trayborn. Do I explore? I think I should explore. Mm. So, so why not? I'm going to take the card from the Lumbridge deck. And it says, rid the village of a skeleton escaped from the sewers. I need to get an eight or above in 
magic. I can't use melee on this because he's literally just made of bones. There's nothing I can do. <laughs> Every time it's not I hit fire. Him, he's it's just going to get it's back not, up. It's not stopped you trying earlier, but yeah. No, absolutely. So I'm going to I'm gonna go and give that a shot. So yep. I get two dice because I'm the same. Yes, I'm the same level okay. as, the, as the test. It requires one magic and I yep. am one magic. And I need to get an eight or above on one of these. The, oh, a 10, ten and a nine. Oh, this skeleton, skeleton is absolutely, absolutely out of there. In fact, I, I killed him so hard, he turned into two gold pieces. <laughs> Whoa. Which is Whoa. insane. You transmuted him. Yeah. I've, I've transmuted Damn. him into gold. Somehow so. you high alked him. Yeah. yeah. I didn't think I had the runes on me, but I've just <laughs> high alked a skeleton. Or the magic <laughs> level. <laughs> Unreal. Speaking Unreal. of which, experience points in magic. Let's, Let's go. go. Yes. Great. I'll take that. And so, because I passed a magic skill test, yep. I gained one GP. Amazing. Oh, whew. Fantastic. Okay, so I'm going to continue on with my side quest down in Tavoli, which means to be able to be able to do that, I'm going to have to take on this Dark Wizard first, which is helpful. And we take out the Dark Wizard again and get another, yet another experience them, in they're magic. They're so scared. We're, they can like, hear the boss music. Ma dun, yeah, dun, yeah. <laughs> magic 11 at this point. This is a bonus action, so I can actually try and do this. Or I would if I had the lever, which I don't. So I need to go and find some of that in stone, so that's cool. But at least we took out the Dark Wizard. So that's Maltani's. I, I can't stay here, can I? You, you can. You can choose to stay where you are and uh, explore if you not want be, to. Not, not being in a capital means the escalation can go up, so you can Definitely going to do that, because I, I want them berries. Falador, exploration. A small number of white knights fight bravely surrounded by cackling dark wizards. Go to their aid. So I need either a five in melee, a three in range, or a four in magic. And what do you know? I have a lot in range, you do. so I'm going to go for that one. Okay. And we shall roll... Three dice. What do you need to get? Hit six. Ooh. The belief is there. I did not hit a six. We did, oh, I thought it was a six. It was oh. a reflection. Okay, oh. what's, the, what's, the, what's the bad effect? The, the demon one has returned. Uh oh. That's the, the real thing I'm scared of, not not the actual demon that's sure. been summoned. These yeah, this demon one. dice. Suffer a wound. Oh, it's a good thing. A waste <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's a good thing. All right. Suffer a wound and advance the escalation track by one. Place a danger token in the closest province that doesn't already have one. Where you are. Which is where I am. Cool. So this Who would have seen that come in? All right, here we go. Finally, the wizard's tower. Firstly, yeah. I've got to fight a wizard. Okay. Uh, I, yep, I can use all four of these. I need a seven and, and a seven. seven. Okay. Nice. Beautiful. Good job. I pass, so I get a GP thanks to my ring of wealth accessory. Yep. And then because that wizard's taking your attention, you can skill off forage afterwards, but it'll be the quest action. Lovely. Yeah, it. That's it. So I'm going to pop that there. Uh, I can perform the action of speaking to Tribal by collecting Vault Card 67. Is, can I do that? It's because it's the, that's the Dark Wizard that you're going to go in and fight, takes your attention for the turn. You can skill off forage okay. afterwards. Okay, I'm going to do that. I'm going to skill magic. I'm going to spend one of my thread yep. that I was meticulously spooling while you were dying earlier. Nice. I'm going to spend an XP point. There we go. I'm going to get one more in magic. Brilliant. Lovely stuff. And that's me for the time. Okay, back to me going through these Dark Wizards again. Uh, I think I'm going to go to White Wolf Mountain and take those. the one that's out there. Thank you. Uh, well, yes, we do. We take out another wizard. Incredible. I'm thinking about trying to do this battle. Do it. Battle stuff. Go for it. I believe in you. But the thing is, I only have crafting two. I need to roll a six. But, I mean, why not, I guess? Probably got today's. Yeah. That's, I mean, a, a resource. <laughs> oh, um, <laughs> there, there is something. There is okay. something. Yeah. Goes yeah. More. That's what I asked. I'll give it a go. See if I can get a six, get a battle, battle stuff. Nope. That's a, oh, it's a seven. It's a seven. That was a one. Awesome. Oh. Brilliant. That's right. It's had all the odds. So uh, collect vault card 49 and then I discard all the resources. I like how we instinctively thought that was going to be a one, but then remembered we, it wasn't me rolling. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm now just <laughs> naturally hardwired for every dice roll. <laughs> it's a one. <laughs> Okay, so we're yes. so confused when there's a 10. Yeah. I'm like, what does it mean? Huh? There's two numbers. I have upgraded my elemental battle staff to a ancient staff. Incredible. Oh. Uh, equipment is a weapon. The power of ages flows, uh, past flows within. Wield the staff with wisdom. So this is, uh, to any level of skill test, I can add that additional equipment die now. Amazing. For uh, magic tests. Excellent. Excellent. Fantastic. Okay, I'm just thinking if I want to spend, well, I would spend resources on defense, but I've just spent them on the staff, which I feel like was a good trade. That's, That's exactly. the yeah. right choice. That's me, Donovan. Cool. Right. Well, I'm going to take up your guys' generosity. I know it does advance the tracker, but I feel like I would be missing out if I'm not upgrading myself. Mm -hmm. So it's I'm going to, gonna, yeah, I'm going to take some uh, coin from the clan bank. So what do okay. I need from there? So, uh, I mean, how much Four. do you get? Eleven. Four. Now I have all of this gold, and you can now take one of the capes. Yo. Okay, what do we want to get? This is the, this is the real question. Here you go. Right, take well, your pick. Got, oh, oh. Some, some, some fancy looking ones. So we got, this is the thing, we've got a range cape, which could be very useful for me, even though I don't have the range skill, 
skill, but it does say a ranged skill test. So, yep. so it would help you out. That would probably be the best one. Sure. Defense or crafting? You do have a lot of defense. defense. I do have in a lot your of defense. defense. In, in my. Ah. <laughs> so I will say. <laughs> You're not, though, and it's okay. Oh, this is. Yeah, this is a, it's a tough one. choice, isn't it? What do we reckon, guys? What do we reckon? So, what's the benefit on them? Is it, is it the whole. So, add so both of them five? are. When an adventurer takes a type of skill test, either yep. ranged or defense, they, uh, if their skill is at least double the test level, they may add plus five to a skill dice of their choice. So, so what's what you have? But I four. would say that because you're higher level in defense, that's going to come in handy more often. Yes, that's true. So we will go I'm defense to say that. Okay. Okay. Third, third age druid, druidic and cloak. We're, we're looking ahead a little bit, but. Oh. At the bottom of the uh, of the campaign board, it says five Re defense is recommended. Recommended, yeah. Well, so yeah. You're on five defense, so I think that's gonna that's gonna play into your strength. So and also, you are the third of us oh. to upgrade your miniature oh. from the cloak hunter to is the that elite what trader. I think is, it that is that a little little is that a little hat? Pea hat? Wow, beautiful, beautiful, sensational. There we go. We are we are geared up and ready to fight. We are okay. The escalation track does go up by one. It does. Uh, uh, what was the main thing you went to do there? You went to go and use the clan. Just just get my drip, honestly. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. so you can still spend gold on. I mean um, I mean while we're here, I might as well get a defense level yep. and a gathering level. For just two, you've, you've two got, points. You've got the points for it. Got so the let's, points. Just it. let's just let's just wipe these off and go up a level in both. Nice. Very nice. So Very we're nice. on like uh, six and we're on seven. My doom. Alrighty. Take it away. I'm up. So now I'm here. Tribeborn's key. An adventurer in the Wizard Tower with five cooking or more, that's me, can perform the following action. Speak to Tribeborn by collecting Vault Card 67, which you are fishing out right now. I am. The Mad Wizard. Surprising? Who's that? What would I want his key for? Actually, now that you've come to mention it, yes, I do have a key. It's in my special closet of valuable stuff. Now, how do I get into that? It's a ritual of some sort, if I could only remember which. Go collect some components for me. By the time you return, I'll have remembered. So now we need to collect Vault Card 68 to continue the quest, and I get a GP. Or just because he's a nice old man, I guess. The Trayborn voice was tickling something in my brain and I can't fish it out. It was but very it was, good. That was fine. very good. Okay, so the next card says, components for a ritual. Trayborn doesn't know what he needs for his ritual, so you better get one of everything. If this adventurer is in the wizard tower and has at least one of each of the seven ingredients in their inventory, they can perform the following action of speaking to Trayborn and collecting vault card 69 to continue the quest. I've got okay. five. Which ones, do you, which ones do you have? I've got a fish, Fruit, wood, thread, stone. So, it, so the ingredients, they're a type of uh, resource. So it means okay. all of the food related ones. So um, okay. specifically, so which ones did you have that were you had berries and fruit? I've got, yeah, I've got fruit and fish. I, okay. have, I have flour. I've got flour. So you've got I can't cook my pie, so we need but to, I will give it up for the greater good. Just, just for you, Dean. Just so what's going to be helpful here, I think, uh, is the Grand Exchange. We've got a lot of gold, but not a lot of resources. So mm. if one of us can get to the Grand Exchange, we can then basically trade in a lot of our gold for the resources that we I, need. I could do that. Yep, and then we can well, as long as we, we can, can avoid, avoid the escalation track i, I was going to say if, if so is it is it when it's done when the third token is placed or after the third token is placed when the third token is placed on this card the oh. Oh. so we have two steps we are that's, tantalizingly close so i would i would say no more escalation Perkador. yep skirt the outsides and keep cleaning up those dark wizards yep, yep. so we can get meat on the oh, way no, here we need to go to varrock for the silver light. So yes. This is going to be this is going to be interesting. Okay, can we do this? So we can get what are we missing? Could you meet there? There's a vegetable there. You've already got the berries. There's a fish nearby. So you got some seeds and there's I've herbs got, there. I've got herbs. fish. So I could go and get herbs. So I can go and get herbs. That's no problem. Perkador can skirt the outsides and avoid the capitals. Yep. You could teleport to Varrock. And that's one escalation track bump, and then go to the Grand Exchange. Yeah, the only problem is we need to be in Varrock for that. So I, if I go to Varrock, I need to stay in Varrock. Oh, if I stay or, in Varrock, though, it goes up twice, right? It does, yes, each oh. turn. Each turn you end a turn in Varrock. So I would say, because you can't move and teleport in the same turn. I think we might be taking on Delroth without Silverlight. <laughs> Welcome back. We've now set up our Delrith boss fight. Even without Silverlight, we're ready to try and take on this uh, this menace. What we've got here is we've got some uh, Dark Wizards set up around uh, Delrith in the middle. So they're casting spells to try and protect Delrith. What's going to happen here during this boss fight is, whilst the Dark Wizards are on their casting side, Delrith is completely immune to damage. So what we have to do is we try to have to knock out each of these wizards, and as we do damage to them, they'll become stunned. Once all of the Dark Wizards have become stunned, we'll be able to actually damage uh, Delrith. Um, and then, obviously, Delrith's behaviours, etc., will start standing wizards up again, and it'll be a bit of a push-pull and then we'll try and take Dalrith down to zero health. Dalrith starts the boss fight on 11 health. Mm -hmm. We start the boss fight on 17 mm -hmm. collectively. Okay. Um, but if Dalrith hits more than
more than one of us at a time, that health can can go down quite okay. a bit. Well, the last thing before we get into it is uh, we're going to tease ourselves by having the Silverlight card out that we didn't find. So kicking us off for the boss fights, do you want to give us a, an intro? I will. Arise, almighty Delref. Bring destruction to this soft and weak city. Dark wizards feverishly chant, surround a circle of crackling magic flames. As the ritual comes to a crescendo, the ground shakes and Delrith tears himself into his realm. Ha ha ha! At last you are free, my demonic brother. Rest now and then have your revenge on this pitiful city. There is no spare time. Delrith must be slain here and now before he can lay devastation upon Varok and the kingdoms. So we're gonna dive straight into it. So how we determine player order in a boss fight is we have our initiative track just over here. So each of us as a player has an initiative card. These are the blue ones. So the clue hunter, for example, is gonna go first. Mm -hmm. It'll be Montani. And then in between each of our initiative cards, there is a behavior card for Delrith, who's then gonna take a turn as well. Each time we take a turn, we can move on space and then take one of the actions, which is just shown down here in the boss uh, board. So we've got different things we can do with melee, with range, with gathering and stuff like that that you'll find out during the fight. Montani is gonna go hey, first. Hello. Take it away. All right, I feel like we should just start pinging these dark wizards, right? Agree. So I'm going to go for a ranged attack. Yep. Which means I get... Here's your dice. Uh, What's the difficulty on it? It's four four level, so yep. I definitely got it, but difficulty of six. So. Sure. So you've got your harpoon. I've got my harpoon. I need to roll a six or more, so... We got... Oh, yep, enough. There we go, so, so I've got a nine and a six. Which wizard did you knock out? Let's go for this one. Sure, okay. That one out. So uh, that's your turn done. Assuming you didn't want to move, by the way. Um, I you could have moved first. Think, no, you know what? I will move. I'll move yep. on to that, that square with him. Sure. So. Then we've got uh, Call of the Dark. Would you mind reading that out Absolutely. for us? Who's he moving towards? He is moving to towards the dark circle terrain. So he's staying so still? He's staying still. Yep. And it says, if there's one or more adventure on the dark circle terrain, yep. flip a dark wizard card to the casting side. And then his attack is in... Uh, the, four, the four corners, I think. All the four corners and That's the centre. <laughs> ah, so, uh, smart, smart. We've got to make a, a, a roll against defence, and if we get an aid or above, we don't take damage, but if we fail, we suffer one wound. Okay, so I have a defence of five, so I'm going to get two dice at that. See if I can get an eight, which I do. And it's also going to hit you as well, and Mod Doom. Lovely. Okay, I'm going to take these two. Yep. You've got this, you've got this. Uh, you can do it. Give us an eight. No, nope. what's, no what's your defense, by the way? Uh, my defense is six. Oh, so you get a third die. Oh, I get a third oh, die. Yeah. All right, okay. Oh, well, oh. We've got a three and a five. Yeah, no, I don't, don't want to do that one. <laughs> Keep it in sync. Keep it in sync. There we go. There. Oh, a seven. So close. Unlucky. Oh, so okay, we collectively as a party take a wound. Okay. Go down to 16. That's, that's not bad, so though. So it's that's technically not bad. everyone's fault that we yes, take a wound, that's not mine. Correct. So I feel really good about myself. In some interpretations. I, um, I don't like that. I don't like that. I'm over here chilling. I've taken out Dark Wizards. Don't Everyone's me... health went down. I don't. Let's not <laughs> blame true. anyone. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah. We've, look, we've got rations. I've got rations. All he's saying is, in some ways, you failed that roll as well. So it's, it's now I'm up. Indeed. All right. So I'm going to take a shot. So these are your actions for attacking Dark Wizards here. Okay. So it's the same space if I want to do a melee attack. Yes. So I'm going to move. Okay. Towards this Dark Wizard, here. Yep. I'm going to go on in, and I'm going to go for a melee attack. Sure. It's a three, so I'm I'm above that. Yep. And it's with my steel longsword, that means I get four attempts. Correct. And I need to get a five or above for a dark wizard. A six and a ten. Fantastic. Lovely nice. stuff. Stunned this dark get wizard as well. Stunned, idiot. <laughs> well, <laughs> that feels hurtful to <laughs> say it, it a little bit. Get stunned, idiot. <laughs> yeah, bashed him with my shield. Do you want to just take down okay, that knight card? I'll move that down. What's the, the next behavior card for The us? next attack is Raking Claws, which is one space towards me. Yep. That's not ideal and then it is the l shape yeah, basically it's going to attack everyone in this corner like this it's going to hit me and modsani so uh yeah big, big raking claw sweep basically so we're going to take that same defense test All so right. we need to hit an eight i forgot defense cool. so you're actually gonna get three dice of this three nice. dice let me take that back and please there we okay. go All right let's go let's go so we've got to get an eight at least you do you got it. Oh, got you ten. ten. Oh, no, there I, we go. I Let's unfortunately, go. I'm a bit of a glass. I mean, kind of thematic actually. I'm a bit of a glass cannon here, <laughs> um, so I only get two dice at this, uh, but I get an eight anyway. It so doesn't we're, matter. We're doing okay. Don't Very matter. nice. He, he, okay. he made that. He telegraphed it. He was like, "Watch out yeah. for my big move," and you're like, <laughs> "Okay." Perfect. I was like, like, "All right." So it's me to go next. At the moment, he's immune to all damage. But the magic attack at Dara says, inflict one wound on Dara for each successful die. This actually ignores the dark circle's effects. So, so I can magic goes straight through straight that protection through it, circle. But I'm too far away, because if I move one, I'm still two spaces away from oh. him. So what I'm going to do is move closer and still take out a dark wizard, I think. Okay, that helps. So I'm going to move this Good. way. Good idea. Oh, on his next um, behavior, where's he going? 
Uh, he's going to be staying still. Yep. He doesn't move. It says each adventurer on an adjacent space to Delrith yep. must roll a d10. If sure. the result is greater than their lowest skill level, Ooh. they are placed in the same space as Delrith. That'll be fine. I, that's fine. No yeah. one's adjacent to him. No. It's just me, uh, and he's going to attack me. Really? So you're okay. You're so, good. So I'm going to yeah. try and get this uh, dark wizard here. Yeah. Um, and I need to get a five for that, which I do. So nice. I stun that wizard nice. as well. Okay. Yeah, flip a dark wizard to the stun side. Brilliant. So that's me done. So I've got to make a defense roll. I'm over leveled, so I get three die. Yep. And I've got to get an eight. Or I suffer three wounds. No pressure. Oh, oh, look at that. Good start. Off to flying start. Ooh. Okay. All right. I was sweating for a second there. Good job. Until I saw that eight. I was, <laughs> I was panicking. So that one's done. So now, because um, we have an extra initiative card, because only three of us playing the game, uh, this extra initiative card can be taken by any of us. We can, I mean, one of us can take a second turn. Who is in the best position? So we got the choice of, I could go and try and hit Dell with magic, or we've got, to, we could try and take down this other casting dark wizard over here mm. as well. I would suggest I'm not going to be much use here because I can only move one space. Sure. I won't be able to attack the dark wizard. Yep. And I can't damage Delrith right now. I, so I am happy to surrender this initiative turn to either one of you who feels more comfortable. I Makes can sense. attack the Dark Wizard next turn. Yep. I can, if you want to take this turn and move someone. So he's going to attack. So the he's Dark attack Magic this, Surge this, this, is going to be doing oh, a cardinal wow. direction. So. Okay. You're suggesting moving yourself and then using Read the Terrain with your Gathering skill. One adventurer may move for each successful die. Yep. So you could actually move us all out of the way of being attacked yes. here. All right. So let's, let's go down here. Yep. And then, all right. So what's the... So it's skill four. Which I so you got three got. dice, and you need to roll sixes. Any sixes or above, you can move one of those. So there's definitely one there. One six. Okay. That's that's one That'll of you. Do. That's fine. So you can move who, one of those. <laughs> who who do we think has got the worst chance of survival? <laughs> Purely statistically, it is me. Uh, I have the worst defense. Apologies to be that's selfish. That is quite all right. Dawes' next move is Dark Magic Surge. If there are any stunned Dark Wizard terrain cards that do not have an adventurer on the same space. Ah, uh, yep. Flip one of them. So we should just do this one? Yeah, that one's fine, yeah. He yep. also moves one space to the right of the, the initiative order. So if it goes to the right, then it basically comes all the way around to this character. So, so it's going to move one space towards you, right, which so I would be, would be back onto the dark circle. Yeah. And then for those of us on a cardinal direction, which is, I think, just me, uh, it's I've got to make a defense roll uh, or suffer one wound. So here we go. I've got three. Come on. We got a nine, nine, ten, and seven. I'm actually Whoa. indestructible. Do you Excellent. know who I am, Del? <laughs> you're gonna, you're gonna you, find out who I am. You, yeah. Okay, we made it. We've Good managed job. to survive that. So okay, so now we need to pass me the initiative cards. I'll give those a shuffle. So what happens now in between the rounds is we shuffle these initiative cards. Oh, and that fifth behavior as well that's there. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. And then we relay really these back out again to give us a new order of player turns. And then we go again. Martin again, take it away. All right. So, uh, so we've got, what's what's got next? Two dark wizards here at the moment. What's what's the next attack? He's going to stand still and attack anyone anyone on the same square as him. Okay. So that's good. I think I will be fine where I am, yep. considering the attack after that is going to be quite... Uh, I'll miss as well. I think I'll just ping a Dark Wizard. Sure. I think that's the that's the safest Sounds play. Like plan. Sounds good. An eight. I think I'll do. So that's your turn done. You there right. we go. Crush oh, the got... unworthy. The yes. next one is, each adventurer on an adjacent space to Delrith must roll a d10. If the result is greater than their lowest skill level, they are placed in the same space. What is your lowest skill level? One. Oh. Well, go on, Dean, do it. I'll Channel the reverse bit. Oh, it's oh, close. Oh, close. Oh, three. That's close. pretty low. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, that's just moved you. Oh, that's just yeah, moved. So then you take okay. the attack as well. Okay. And now the attack, yep. which I get the three for. It's not going to happen. Oh, there we just go. Just so, it out again. I'm so glad there wasn't a one there. I would have. Oh, that was so cool. <laughs> Okay. So I think this might be a good chance for me to go in and blast him with magic. Oh. Yeah. That's fine. Let's have a go at it. If I can have all four dice, please. There you go. So and my magic skill is 12. Um, <laughs> This is not even feel real to say. Didn't def necessarily do this on purpose. So it's skill four, so I'm triple what's required. So I can use my magic cape to help me out here. Uh, and I need to, eight, need to get eights. So each eight that I roll is a wound. So I got, that's a six. So I got one wound there. There's another wound there. And then these two are both fails, but I'm going to use my magic cape to turn this into a 10. Uh, and I've done three wounds to him. Fantastic. Beautiful. Okay. Yeah, that's, right. that's me. Okay, next move is dark magic surge. He moves one space towards me. Guess yep. what? Idiot, you're already there. <laughs> if there are any stunned dark wizard terrain cars that do not have an adventurer on them, <sighs> flip one. So this one, I would I say, yeah, the West one. I feel like I'm learning. We should be on the Dark Wizards. So that's... It's, it's telling us, isn't it? It's yeah. trying to tell us. We're just going to go towards me. That's fine. And then Perkador's got to roll an eight. An eight. See if we can get it. What's that? Six. That's, that's a two. Six, nope. It's going to take damage. Oh. How much damage? It takes us down to 15 health as there a group. There we go. I'm somehow magically immune by being in the middle of it all. Yeah. My plan is I'm going to head south. Yep. 
and I'm going to rock up to this dark wizard. Sounds good. Hello, hello. Nice. Uh, and what do I need to get for a dark wizard? Fives, yes. Fives, okay. You got four dice. All these. Uh, I've got an eight and a ten. Knocked yes. him down. Yeah. He's out of here. Good job. So he's going to do Call of the Dark, which is just non cardinal directions. And if there is one or more adventure on the dark circle terrain, flip a dark wizard card. Thankfully, no one's on there. There's not. All right, what are we rolling now? Uh, you're eight rolling or a defense, eight, eight or higher. Okay. Uh, that's oh, a nine. nine. There oh, we go. Two nines. Great. Oh, you're doing fantastically well at staying alive. Embarrassing him. Silver light, who needs it? <laughs> Silver what? <laughs> <laughs> okay. We've literally never heard of it. Yeah. That <laughs> that's true, we don't know it exists. Okay, we've got a free and slot here for one yeah. of us to be able to take okay. in the initiative order. So again, it's a similar choice to last time. We can, I can have a blast at him with magic as I am, or we can knock this, this down and yeah. then make him vulnerable for somebody else. I'm getting hit regardless. So okay. I can happily to move and take out the, the wizard. Give him the old harpoon. Right. So now the dark circle is disrupted. So if Delrith suffers any wounds, flip one dark uh, wizard card to the casting side, and then flip this card. So we get one opportunity to deal some so damage. Oh, shot. so it's not um, it's not all dark wizards. No, it's one okay. of them. Oh, that's yeah. even better. So he's now going to move towards you, Sani, and he's going to go in the big swooping motion all the way down the left side and across the bottom. Hit both of you, and he's going to go for both of us. So I'll let you roll first. Right. Eight again, is it? Yep, you're it fine. Is oh, lovely oh, stuff. This is fantastic stuff. You got this. You got this thing. The Mighty Doom. Mm. Here's the initiative cards coming your way. I don't want to get overconfident. This is going okay so far. Uh, you I mean, yeah. took the words straight out of my mouth. I didn't yeah. want to jinx it. I love the, f the idea of like, we've just beaten up all of his wizards. Delrith's like swept out to attack us and one yep. of us runs into a corner. It's like oh, yeah. <laughs> scoffing down <laughs> a high. Like. Yes. So uh, I'm going to move into the dark circle. Take is that the dark circle attack? Uh, no. Okay, good. Right. He's not going to step into the middle, is he? <laughs> no, no, he's staying where he is. Excellent. I'm fine with this. Okay, so we got one success, and then I can change another one to a second success. So we did two two wounds. Two, two wounds. There we go. Always on six. That'll do. One more, and he's gonna. Go. We're gonna see what the enrage effect does. Now he's going for crush the unworthy. He's staying where he is, but each adventurer on an adjacent space to Delrith must uh -oh. roll a d10. If the result is greater than their lowest skill, which is one, they are moved into the same space. We got this. It's okay. fine. We can do it. We no, we can't. <laughs> Uh, okay, <laughs> welcome to the club. Hey, hey welcome hi, to the Delrith's hey. party house. How's it going? How are you doing? Um, okay, and I spoke to you soon, didn't I? <laughs> his attack <laughs> is uh, an eight. Same space? Yep. Is he then? Okay, so I need to get an eight. That is, uh, no, that's not an eight. So how much damage? Three wounds. Oh. Come on, party hat, let's do this. There we go. You're fine. You don't have to do this. We're done. I don't have to do this. We're done. I'm just okay. flexing over here. You are. Alrighty, I'm up. Oh, glass cannon over here. I actually don't know what to do with myself at this mm. point. I'm a little bit useless. Because, but, oh, because there I, were I apologize. Suffers, yeah. Yes, because he suffered damage from me. One of these dark wizards should have turned up. One dark wizard card to the casting side. So it's not a choice. So we I mean, would have known you Let's say next. I was too busy cheering you guys on. Be like, yeah, get him. Yeah, yeah. This and this guy just gets up behind me. Yeah, yeah. So, okay, I'm just going to. Okay, I can hit a wizard. That's great. Yeah, right. Just shield bash him from the back. Yeah, I don't even look. I'm just like, yeah. And I bring my elbow down on top of his head he's like <laughs> and down he goes yep all right i'm i'm with it so what do i need to get so to, 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 down you need to get a five a five oh seven okay Whew. Whew. Oh, 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 I, I saw the one and i focused okay. yeah <laughs> <laughs> so the shield briefly came back up and it's now gone down again yep all right what's what's there what's there saying uh he is doing demon's fury so he moves one space towards me okay so, so he's going either way to the the sure. corner i suppose nice. yep and he's going to try and attack someone, but there's no one in the same space as him. Sure. So he doesn't hit anyone. Excellent. And now, Just blindly swing in. Over to you, Sonny. There you go. Yo, okay. Crossbow bolt into him. Yeah, we're going to have to, right? We're going to yeah. have to. Do you want to move first, or are you happy where you are? Uh, what's next? So for Delrith, uh, so it's yeah, skill five, so you get your three dice. And any sixes will cause wounds. Okay, so if we get all sixes, yep. that's, the, that's the ticket. We'll slay this beast. You've done. I've got, I've got one. One, one's good. We'll do it. Good. We'll do it. But that yep. does mean we hit this. We've hit the enrage. He's enraged. He Delrith unleashes wrathful dark energy, defiant in the face of a worthy enemy. Speed. Delrith attempts to turn the tables. If Delrith was reduced to zero health, he heals one wound. The round ends immediately. Randomly choose a, uh, and resolve two behavior cards, then flip every dark wizard card to the casting side and the dark circle card to the protection side. Start a new round. Uh, sorry, was it all the wizards? Yes. And it says randomly choose and resolve two behavior cards. Um, so these two, it'll be the co uh, corner directions and the center. Sure. That's fine. He's going to move on to the dark circle terrain, which is fine because that's going to flick back on. Correct. Anyway. And then his other one is raking claws. He moves one space towards one of us and then does the L shape attack. So we've all got to roll defense. So which direction is he moving? He's into? moving towards whoever's next. 
So is it pointing that way? It's pointing that way. Oh, this way. So that would be the next. So it's, you oh, skip so that card. So the okay, oh, so it moves towards Sarnia. Again. Yep. And then we all have to roll defense. Fantastic. Fantastic. Well, let's get the bad one out of the way first. The glass cannon goes and doesn't Ooh, suffer damage. Very right. nice. It's all of us. Oh, right. Uh, you are also fine. Hey. Fantastic. All right. Good, good job. Go. Bring Can it home. Get three for three. Bring it home. Yes. Oh, yeah, right. free. Embarrassing. <laughs> Imagine. All right, it says the round oh, immediately ends. So those, so those cards would have been the ones that we resolved. The round immediately okay. ends. We then need to reshuffle all of the okay. initiative cards again. Right, there you go. And all okay. the Dark Wizards just stood up again now. Yeah. Okay, that is suboptimal, but it's fine for me because I get to just completely batter this poor wizard who you just he keeps getting back up. Full I mean, credit to him. He's less to Del He's all heart. Respect. Sensational, but pitiful at the same time. So, yes. All right, heart, no bones. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> two tens and an eight. This, this is the other, the other other hand as he's getting back up. I'm just, yeah, yeah. I'm just holding him at arm's length. <laughs> yeah. Point. All right, and then me and... Uh, so it's Demon's Fury next, is it? Yeah, yes. me so and Pogador are going to... towards me, so he's going... Yep. Oh. Uh, and then he can't attack because he's not in range yet. Uh, I can't get away from the L attack, but I think I'll I think I'll stay here. I've got Ranger two, so I can get I can get that one on the back. I think, and uh, I think we'll just go for the Dark Wizard in f over the here. Yep. Sounds good. Do a little cheeky range. Get a five or a six. Sorry, get a six and you'll take him down. There we nice. go. Another Easy. stunned wizard. Easy. This is good. Easy. Two down, two to go. <laughs> yes, indeed. He's straight up not having a good time. Okay, okay. crush the unworthy. There is no one in range for him to attack, so he's just like, oh well, I guess. So yes, adventures on adjacent spiral there uh, we go. Uh, spaces. So uh, there you go. There's one d10 for you, one for me. Try and roll a one. Nope, that's not a one. Nada. That is also. Is it a one? That's a nine. That's a nine. Oh, Guys, where's your mod Sony when you? When yeah, you yeah. Oh, I know, right? Honestly. This does also seem to be happening to us and not you. I know. We need you on this. Stop rolling high. Yeah. And then <laughs> gonna, gonna, gonna hit us, I guess. Yes. Okay. Then we've got to roll to avoid suffering three wounds. Sure. Yes. Just too right. easy. Good job. Just too easy for you. Two, oh, there you go. Two for you. And we got... Nope. I'm going to take oh, some damage. Okay. How much that's, damage? That's three. three wounds. Uh, oh. It's so okay. It's okay. One, two, three. You guys have got rations, so that's... that's Very true. true. Very true. That's a good point. Uh, it is the Archonex, so it's a free space. So gotcha. I, I can't hurt him. Yeah, I was going to suggest me moving forward. So there's a couple of options here. You could... you could. Well, that's a good point, yeah. So you can move as well. Yeah. Um, you could move and take a ration. Move and take a wizard down. Mm -hmm. And I am capable of just blasting Delrath. What's the what's the damage? If we suffer one wound for the next turn. I feel like we take it down Dark Wizard. I get that one over there. Sure. Well, is he going to hit both of us again? Or? He's going to he go. Won't hit me. He's going to move on to the two. Dark Circle. Oh sure. Oh, if you move to yeah the stunned one, the, the north the north one. Okay. And then it's a range of two tiles. Mm. Yeah. You. Okay. Yeah. No, that sounds like a plan. The, the more the more of these Dark Wizards we get down, yeah. and because you can okay. just attack Delrath straight. Yeah, I have to wait for my circle. turn and do that. Yeah, yeah. you'll you'll be up after. Seems fine. Call of the Dark. Go for it. All right. Come on, Harpoon. You... Oh, oh, that is insane. 29 out of a possible yep. 30. You've heard of God Swords, and I've got God Dice. <laughs> God Harpoon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. yeah. So now he moves on to the Dark Circle terrain. Delroth's back in the middle. Yep. And it says, if there is one or more adventurer on the Dark Circle terrain, flip a Dark Wizard card onto the casting site. Thank goodness there's not. Yes. We know better than that. We do. Uh, and... Now he's going to attack in uh -oh. all the corners and the center. So uh, we both have to roll defense. Yes, we do. So or guys, one wound. Ace again. Doing that no, again. Fantastic. I feel like I'm going to let the side, like you're just let the side down here. Expanding. Yeah, I did. So I, I took damage. Okay. It's just the one wound this time. <sighs> okay. It's just the one We're wound. We're good. Actually. We're good. Lovely. Right. Me? You're up. Okay. So I'm going to step onto this wizard, apparently, who is stood up. I'm going to step on him anyway. Uh, and I can have a four dice, please. You absolutely can. Let's have a go at Delrath. There you go. Okay, any eights will do. So that is a six. There's actually nothing here naturally, but I'll use my magic cape to turn it into at least one hit. Nice. Uh, Very so nice. I'll take one damage. Okay, Ooh. there we go. He's down to four. He's not having a good time. He's starting to stress. <laughs> so he's going to move one yeah. space oh, towards <laughs> you, Perkador. He's going to head towards you. Okay. And then he's going to do his L shape attack. Uh oh. 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 So. That's right. I think that's going to be. Oh. Oh, oh. Very nice. Very nice. Avoided it. This. Oh, come on. Let's get it. Wow, incredible. That's a triple two, one. Two ones and a seven. Ah, so, gross. okay. I mean, it's just the one wound. That's, just, that's I'm just worried about it's going to clip us twice at some point with something that's going to do three damage each. Yes. That's the one I'm worried about. We can, we can, we can okay. start eating. Next right. person can start that's, eating. That's, that's the initiative order. <laughs> 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 just, just panic food. Give me your pies. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that, might be, that might be your move. That might be my move, yeah. Well, well, uh, right. the initiative cards. Okay. So he's on four health. Yep. We're on seven health. One pie should be eaten at what? least. Uh, yes. At least. <laughs> well, it depends on whose turn. Oh, oh, that's fine. Is. Oh. So I guess if this if this behavior can't do, it's not a three damage one, then we can kind of do whatever we like. One really. wound. It's a one wound. Okay. One wound. 
three wounds. Okay. Three wounds. Uh oh. Right. I, so, I would still say I think it's wise for Doom to eat a ration because I can't yes. eat a ration. You should just prioritize attacking. Yeah. You have two range, so you can theoretically hit that last wizard anyway. Yeah. From and where it's, we're it, at. It's probably better for me to attack Delrith while the wizards are still stood up. Yes. Because yep. I'm not going to trigger the protection circle coming back. Also, yep. I could on this turn move someone if need be. Very true. Very true. So okay. do you want to move and eat a pie? Uh, yeah, I do. Yeah. I am gonna, <laughs> I'm on the just, pie. I'm just going to walk away and have a sure. pie. So I'm going to consume that pie. And Excellent. that's how many? Three. Three hit points back, back for us. Lovely. Back up to ten. That's Good. a much nicer Four. number. There we go. Yeah, safer. That's a lot more promising. Okay, I like that. Okay, what happens next? Uh, so that's me. Now it's Call of the Dark. He's going to go back onto the dark circle terrain. Yep. And then attack in all the corners. Oh, perfect. Guess what? Perfectly no evaded. There. Unlucky. So played. Charge this. Here, Charge we this one Here up. we go. If this is a four. Come on now. Okay, now, so it's one naturally, and then I'm going to use my magic cape to turn another one to a second hit. So we've got two. Two hits, so he's yep. down to two. Yep. Oh. <gasps> he's going to be sweating. Pre okay, pressure, okay. Pressure. so now... Oh, I should have moved. Should I know, I can't move. No, no, it's fine. He's no, going to move fine. one space towards you. The clue Hunter. Yes, so Matani. So, do I get attacked twice, or just No, just the once. once. Correct. Correct. Okay, good. Um, and if there are any stunned dark wizard terrain cards that do not have an adventurer on the same spot, Flip one, so that one ah, gets up. That's which fine. Is, that's fine. Okay, he's been he's been unconscious for ages. He's had a little nap. He's yeah. you know what? He's had a little What's going sip on? of some water. He's back in the game. He's feeling much better about himself. He took a little like disco nap. He's yeah. back in. He's he he potted a pie. He, he also brought a pie. Yeah, 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 he, was yeah, like, yeah. he was like, oh, I'm unconscious. That, <laughs> like, saw you eating a pie. I was like, that's a good idea. He's like, oh, I forgot about my pie. Yeah. Yeah, he, was just, he was overjoyed by that. Okay, so we've got to roll defense. For that attack. All of us? Okay, yes. yes. Let's get it out of the way. I passed it. Come oh, on. Right. Pass some more of these than I thought I would. Let's go, let's go. Come on. Uh, oh. Yes, got so a nine. 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 I was uh, upside down like a six. <laughs> That's why I was like, no. Oh. oh. And a ten. We'll take that. Okay, so we all got away with it. Very nice. Okay, so what's his attack on the same square? Yes. Uh, he's moving towards whoever's turn this is. Yep. So I could attack a dark wizard. Mm -hmm. I could attack this one. Mm -hmm. I think that's. I think that's a pretty, pretty good, good idea. Yeah, okay, so he's not going to hit you if you stay still. Okay, harpoon time. Got it. It's harpoon time. It's go. harpoon time. <laughs> 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 oh, dear. And then, uh, and then Dara's going to move here. Yeah. You're going to take out another dark wizard. Yeah. Yeah. Just bring him all down. Yeah. And then it opens the circle. It's harpooning time. It is. It is harpooning time. It is. Oh They're all down. Okay, the, the shield has dropped. Check the clock. It's harpoon time. Then it's crushed the unworthy. Uh, so for each adventurer on an adjacent space to Delrith, you have to roll a d10, and if it's greater than your lowest skill, you are placed oh, in the same no. space. Oh so. no. Oh, sorry. Time for ones. Oh, okay. Come on. No. That was, that was your moment. That was so, my best roll yet. Yeah. <laughs> uh, then you get, yeah. Okay. Uh, then we get, get attacks, do we? Then, yes. Yeah. It's, uh, we're rolling to survive. Three wounds. That's a no. That's I'm going to take three. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right, guys. Oh, no. I'll get this one because of my defense. You got it. We're good. Oh, you're good. Okay. We're good. Right so we're, back, we're back at seven. That's fine. That pie was for nothing, but you know what? <laughs> sure. Let me shuffle again. I would, I would love nothing more than for okay. pies to be empty calories. Delis yes. on two. <laughs> Delis on two and the... And the, and the if you're first, I kind of don't one want, of us I kind is, of don't want to be first. You want one of us to be first. I need, to, I need one of you guys to be first. This is the thing, because if you guys can go first, one, you've got an opportunity to finish him off. Two, if you don't, the circle comes back up. I can just shoot through it anyway. True. It's only if it gets wounded though, right? Y yes. So if we don't hit him at all. Oh, and then it's fine. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so and anyone Any like? like. Okay. And then me. Ooh. And then Doom. And finally, Perkador. No stress, but he's going to do that big l shape move as his big finale here, and that does That's quite scary. quite a few of Where's us. the three damage one? Right at the front. Ah. But it's the square that he's on. I can move, big ball. Yep. <laughs> and it's one, you can move a person per successful roll. Yes, so. Is he going to move anywhere or stay still? Uh, he's going to stay still for the first one. Oh, so you can just move everyone off. Yeah, because yeah. like a... I only need to do this. Yeah. And then I of get. Of course, you can move first before you roll. And you need to get sixes, so you can move two people. Uh, yeah, well, we'll move, we'll move Perkador yep. over here. Yeah. I think I am best staying where I am. Because sure. we're going to miss all that attack. So we're... S stay still, swipes around him. Yep. We've got to roll to see if we can stay on the space. Oh, I didn't realise that's uh, the one. Well, okay. What have I got to roll? Oh, I was, oh, I was on a one for a bit. Oh. There, was a, there was a glimmer of hope there. Okay. Go on, Perkador. You, you've got this, you've got this. That's a nine. You've got this. Ooh. Right, it's fine. We're surviving, we're surviving. Yeah, and yes. so are you. All right, oh. okay. Whoa. Got it. Got away with it. All right, and then 
You're up. I feel like. You're up to oh. Bring it home. This is is it. it the final harpoon in time? It's harpoon in time! It's harpoon in time! It's sixes. And you got one. Down to one. One. <gasps> down to one. Oh, no, wait, wait, wait. Wait. My cape. <laughs> is it a. Oh, no, it's defense. Oh, <sighs> no. I didn't pick the right cape. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe you that's, this. that's fine. So this flips back up. Yep. And I think it makes sense to flip this one. Yes. Where you are. Agreed. So during the behavior, he's going to go onto the protector circle. He's going to go circle. onto the protector circle, and then he's going to attack the corners. So uh, it's us again. Do you, do you you just, again. We're just dodging attacks left and right, except not that time. Not, not that time. time. But that's only one wound. Okay. So I'm going to assist the defense, yeah? Yep. Yeah, you got this. Come on. Uh, you oh, got ten. Let's Easy. go. Nailed it. Okay, so he's back on the, he's back on the terrain. Yep. Yes. I'm standing right on top of one of these dark wizards. Is How it, many times? You're primed, is it, is you're primed to attack him and then just... Yeah. Two things we can do. One, you can attack the dark wizard again, drop the circle, which is just generally useful anyway. Yep. Two is you can actually have a go at a magic roll because if he happens to roll the eight, you just kill him. Ooh. I, magically illiterate individual, I'm going to get... I, mm, so I'm, I only get one dice. Yes. I'm going to get the dice. that could be the triumphant finish. To this tempting puny demon and what's the what's the range one so you're in range i am in range if i moved i wouldn't be in range correct is now the time to play <laughs> to toy with this you know what yeah i've Do never it. tried yes. magic yes. Yes. let's go see if it works. It <laughs> yeah. eat this <laughs> Uh, <laughs> just biting on the rune and be like, yeah, I don't want this, and killing Jarrett. Um, I just kind of limply drop it at his feet. You actually like, just did throw the rune. My the rune one just, weakness, a chaos rune. The actual rune. rune just hits him on the face and just falls off. Like, is that it? His next move is, yep. uh, if there are any stunned dark wizard terrain cards that do not have an adventure on them, flip one. Fine. Any one of them. Oh, oh no. And he's going to move towards Perkadol. That's fine. So he's going to go the same way. Cozy up next to that dark wizard. <laughs> Hey, and then he's hey, going to do an attack in that <laughs> okay, space this together. and the cardinal direction, so that's only me. Yep. And I've got to make a defense roll. Difficulty five, I've got six, so I can have all three. You need to get at least an eight. Oh, there's the nine. There's the nine. There's the oh, nine. Nice. Okay. okay. So, right. bring it to me. Perkador. This is all you. All, all the dice. Oh, yeah. All and the dice. for your battle staff. Okay. Come on. This I mean, I mean, surely it's a given. Do, 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 do. <laughs> it's, Why unless you say it? Unless it's all one. Don't, <laughs> no, don't. If this, if this fails now... Now we got it. There we go. There we go. <laughs> nice. Good job. Yes. So we did two extra wounds to Delrith. Delrith goes down, uh, and Delrith has been defeated. Yes. Could you please do the honors of reading that Delrith is defeated? Of course. The demon proves. Oh no, that's the wrong one. That is. That was if we failed. So we don't want that one. There we go. Retcon. Badly wounded and unable to resist the pull from his own realm, Delrith is dragged into a portal, and Varrock is saved. Each adventurer gains free XP allocated as they wish. The adventurers take a total of three cards from the top of the equipment deck, taking one fewer for each time they were defeated by Delrith, and may give them to an adventurer of their choice. So basically, we'd get just three three pieces of equipment as we would like, but, you know. I feel like I should play into my defense cloak. Yep. And just add. Absolutely. Defense is always a good choice, honestly. Yeah. Okay, so the equipment that we would just get for free. So we have a thief's hood. Oh. So we get better thieving skill. That's been useful for us. We could have, that's a starting equipment as well, so you can upgrade that, make it better. Oh, is it back? Pork and apple pie. Oh. And we would have had a cabbage. Yo, <laughs> yo. <laughs> so, and so those are the things that we would get taken with us into our next campaign. Nice. Uh, which Sweet. would be Flame Slayer, would be the next campaign that we're playing. Oh, this has been really, really cool. I really enjoyed that. Yeah. That was, that was really awesome. Thoroughly enjoyed. So that was RuneScape Kingdoms, Shadow Velvarg. We've played the uh, second campaign, which is Demon Slayer to play against Delrith. There are, however, four different campaigns within the base set for Shadow of Elvarg, and there are also three expansions to the game coming out at the same time as well, which each one of them has an extra campaign in it, so you could play seven campaigns back-to-back -back if you really wanted to take your character all the way from start to finish. Um, all of these are available from the 29th of February from Steamforge.com and your friendly local gaming store. Uh, thank you for joining us. Thank you for joining us again, and uh, see you next time.